Hello, good evening, greetings and welcome. And how are we doing? Let me pull up the old, uh, the old stream up here. Hi everyone, how are we doing today? What day is it? It's Tuesday. It is. It is Tuesday. Uh, am I muted? I am muted. And, uh, and good evening. I hope that we're well. These are some dice. Are you ready to roll them? I hope you are, because that's what we're going to be doing. This is the first ever <laughs> Dice to Meet You Dice-a-thon. We are going to get just real st st stuck into some probabilities. We are going to roll and write and other things, mostly those things, and we are, oh, we're going to stack some dice too. We're going to stack. We're going to gain points. We're going to arrange. We're going to roll d6s, d4s, d10s, d12s, d... That's probably about it. D20s. I think there's D20s in there too. These little sharp tacks, the, the tank traps. We're going to roll those as well. Oh, it's going to be magical. I'm glad you're here. Well, obviously the dice jar has been emptied. And by dice jar, I mean multiple dice bags. I like to keep them. I like to keep my dice separate for different occasions. You know, you got to have... You got your, you recognize your bathosphere dice right here, you know? Your nine circle dice, the nice pink ones. I'm sorry to let you down there. I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. I'll find a, I'll find a jar. Maybe the, maybe the second dice a thon, if this goes well. We're gonna, we're gonna, for now, we'll, we'll shove some of these dice to one side and we'll get playing because, well, the rules are quite clear. And I say that. I might have already forgotten all of them, but the rules are quite clear. We've got 60 minutes to play some dice games. Every dice game win, and I'll talk more about that in just a second, will give us 10 extra minutes to the stream. And I'll maybe, I'll keep track on a piece of cardboard or something and maybe try to have it. I know that like professional streamers would probably have some sort of timer somewhere. That's, that's not, given that I came up with this idea about an hour ago, I haven't quite had time to, you know, formulate that, but, Guess how many dice on screen? No counting. I want your best answers in the next 30 seconds. No, that's too, that's too, that's too quick. 10 seconds. That's too, no, not, not quick. The opposite. There we go. Let me see if I can just, should I pile them a little bit? Just to make it difficult. <laughs> Immediately my stream quality just dropped like immensely. They're like, this is too many dice on screen actually. Um, all right, 2.43, the, the bets are in. I think, I think it's higher than that, but, but I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I've got it, I know I've got at least 200 D6s. 500, okay. I don't know if it's that high. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm at levels yet. I've also got a pinball in here for some reason. Actually, three pinballs. Well, I know the reason, and we're playing paper pinball, but... Um, those are for later. Uh, so, the rules are... Do I have to count them now to see who's right? <laughs> Can I do it later? I'm going to do it later. That'll be a bad stream. But I'll do it later and I'll let you know. Uh, I'll let you know who's won. I'll count all of these. And, and I'll let you know. So, rules are... Yes, I got to rules. So... Every game win gives us 10 extra minutes on the stream. Every game loss loses us 10 minutes on the stream. Every super chat gives us 15 extra minutes on the screen. And if you want to suggest a game, you're absolutely welcome to, as long as, um, as long as I can like print it out and learn it in a relatively reasonable amount of time. Um, what was the other thing I said? Uh, yeah, I don't know, that's it probably. I've I've arranged I've got about 12 games that I've got prepared in a little stack. I'm going to start with just the alphabetical order, the top one, but there because I have done that. Yes, I did. <laughs> Imagine just six six losses in a row and we're like, "All right, I'll call it a night, I guess." <laughs> so, 
Um, if you request the game, I'll show you the stack at the end. I'll show you the stack like after our first play, and you can request something if you want from the stack, or tell me, you know, point me to a link, put a link in the chat to like some like single page PMP or something like that, and I'll, I'm happy to print it out. You know, if you know like you know, Decathlon or um, I don't know, like Raging Bulls or something like that. You know, so there you go. That, that's that, that's the. I think those are all the rules. I don't remember. What's the other thing, what's the other thing I said? Did I say anything else? No, but I might, you know, yeah. Within reason, we're gonna play dice until we drop. Um, so without, I mean, without further ado, I think we should probably get started. Um, today I am drinking. I'm. I hope you're hydrated. Again, this could be good. This could go on for a very long time, or it could go on for a very short time. And that's just the gamble we're we're willing to. We, that's just the gamble we're undertaking. That's just the dice we're rolling, if you if you if you will. Um. Vasilko, I do remember the time when you guessed the dice jar number, and it was exact. Although it was your dice jar, so I'm suspicious about this. <laughs> it's quite possible that you did count them beforehand. Notice, notice that I haven't made a prediction because maybe I've already counted these dice. I don't know. I could have. I could have. I haven't, but I might have. Today we are going to be over ice, mind you. We're going to be drinking some Aha Blueberry Acai because. Well, I don't know. It looked quite good. It hasn't been in my fridge, so that's the reason I've got some ice. But it looked more. It looked. It looked delicious. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna drink it over ice and be the sophisticated, fancy, fancy dice roller that I am. Oh, it just fits perfectly. I hope that's getting into the microphone. Ooh, that's nice. Aha! Right. <laughs> right? This is a lot of dice to curse. Surely some of them, surely some of them are, have been blessed. I mean, oh yeah, where's my dice candle, by the way? Maybe we should put that in the shot, just to... Is that why I'm cursed? Have I lost it? Where's it gone? Well, this could this could explain a lot, couldn't it? If I don't know where my dice candle is, then... Whew, um, we could... We could this is, will be a very quick stream. Oh, hang on, it's on the floor. <gasps> this is why! This is what happened! My dice candle had fallen on the on the floor. That's this explains it all. I don't have a lighter, so I can't light it. But here we are. This is the. Uh, here we go. This is what this is what we're this is what we're we're aiming for. We're aiming for staging. Just just send me some good vibes. Send these dice some good vibes, and we're gonna get started. The first, um, I've got several games of paper pinball printed out, so I, I, I'm not gonna just like you know I'm not gonna like bombard you with every single paper pinball ever ever created but i'm going to play one with because one they're quick and two they're fun and three i like them so this is championship booger ball and i believe we should start the timer so let me grab a i've got an index card for this this is my my index card timing device <laughs> my dice are cursed worse it's i could i could i guess i can believe it I guess I can believe it. So if I start at exactly 640, that'll lead us to 740, and I think that's a good start. Good question. Win condition for championship booger ball. Um, oh yes, that's right, I did say I was gonna say, say more about those. So for these um, games that are not like win or lose, like there's high scores, I've collated some of the scores that either myself have already scored on the games or in terms of paper pinball um, that everyone on the Discord has scored and recorded, so mostly Vaselko and Sothekos and myself. So for Championship Booger Ball, the average score is 378.2. So that means a score of 379 or higher will be a win. Now, it just so happens that my high score on this game is 378. So... <laughs> That basically means I need to get a high score, my personal best, in order to progress with an extra 10 minutes. Otherwise, we're going down to 7.30 and we've got to speed things up. So, 7.40 is going up there. I'm going to choose some nice boogery dice to go ahead and play with. So that looks like a booger to me. And can I get another one of that shade? Maybe I can, maybe I cannot. Who knows? Surely I've got another booger, booger dice. This one looks kind of boogery too. Oh, 
Although those ones you can't really see. Oh, hang on, I need to get this back on the, on the table, sorry. And now it's 7.41, so I'm wasting time. All right, there's our boogers, and we are, we are off. So, you know how to play, you know the rules. What we do, we throw some dice. I'll, I'll save my multi-ball just up here, this little banana. So the, the gimmick on this table is that we've got banana flippers. After each roll, we can re-roll one of our dice. If it matches, we lose a ball, but if, we, if it doesn't match, then we get to use that as a number. But you know how this works. We roll two dice, fill in the numbers, bada bing, bada boom. We also have these sub boards, so if we roll a nine, we can start going in here. If we roll a five, we can start going in here. But anytime we have to leave that area and come back to this main, then we have to roll another five to get in, okay? Easy enough, let's just play. We'll start off with a nice six, so I don't mind that. I'm gonna go ahead and open some tunnels. And an 11, which is not super great, but it's going in one of these, and that'll do fine, because it's a nice high score. I think we can get through one of these games in about 10 minutes, if not a little bit less. So I don't mind it, to be honest. Um, this is bad, because I don't want to write two in here, so I'm going to re-roll one of these and hope that it is not a one. And it's a five, so we've got six, which we can't cross off, but I will, I will happily fill it in here uh, more than I would have a two. Booger ball is a lot of fun. I like the banana flippers um, mechanism. I think it's quite, it's helpful and it feels less punishing. Um, and obviously like you're pushing your luck, right? Every time you do it. So that's kind of neat. Another six. Yeah, so now we've got to, we've got to go again. So I'm going to go for, I'll reroll this four, or this two, because I can either get an eight, a nine, a five, any of the numbers essentially that I need, as long as I don't roll another four. And it's a two, which is bad, because that means I can't do anything, in which case I'm going to have to lose. Uh, oh, wait, can I? Now then, can I re-roll after a re-roll? I don't think I can. That's a ball loss, which is essentially 50 points. And uh, that's not great. That's not great. It's not a great start. We've got a seven, which I'll take down here. Why do I keep putting the pet? I keep putting the lid back on, but that's not. It's, we've got to be efficient on this stream. Be, are we serious with this? Is this going to be how this goes? If it is, I'm getting off stream immediately. Right, I'm going to reroll this six because I can still get eight, nine, or seven from this. Seven it is. Right, we've filled out this, which gets us 10 points. So that's nice. Or 20 points, I should say. Right, five and a four is a nine, and I'm gonna head up, uh, do I wanna head up into here? It's better to be in here once, when you've got, when you've got this tunnel open. Can we make it to seven o'clock? Possibly, possibly. We're going in, um, into the sub board. So we can get double to bumpers through these. We've got three numbers to fill out. We cannot get into the multi ball, but I think it's a good idea to get in there. Uh, no, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go... That's gross, but I'm just going to do it. We're going to go this. And we'll avoid the subboard for now. Okay, now I probably am going to go into the subboard because I don't mind it. Three? Oh, come on. All right, we're going to do something else. We're going to, we're going to roll this. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this, this could be... This could be a house. <laughs> right, look. This stream is about embracing the role of the dice. It's about embracing and loving the pain and the suffering that we're going to put ourselves through. Um, and quite frankly, I'm ready for it. So even if I do terrible on these games, I'd like to think that we can at least <laughs> we can at least get past an hour. Come on, please, please, can we get past an hour? Should I exit the subboard or should I fill this in with a seven? What do we think? I think I'll exit the subboard and come back out. Why not? Oh, nice, we got a nine. That'll get me back into the subboard, which I think I will do. So I'm just going to check that off again. And we've got a five. So that is on our way to double bumpers. <laughs> I feel the pressure. It's bizarre how pressured I feel. We've got a six, which I don't mind. And you know what? At least I'm not in here. I can be in here. I'm in here and I can put it in there. I 
think we can make it to seven o'clock. Ooh, we got a 10, that's that's fine by me. We can double bumpers, or one more step to double bumpers. I need a nine and a four. That's a seven. And I'm thinking about, I'm gonna erase this because it's confusing me. I'm thinking about coming back out again. Because I'd like to get five and eight in here to get that multi-ball. Three. That's rubbish. And so I'd like to re-roll this. Seven is better, but not great. Um, we have to put it in there. Yeah, exactly. If I lose the stream, <laughs> that is some that's some real high pressure. Okay, we've got another eleven, which is should be good, but isn't. So because um, we we cannot fill in numbers into any group of bumpers. So I think we'll go roll this, roll, re roll the six again. And it's another 11, which I think means we're going to lose another ball. <sighs> yep, we are. Right, this is pretty bad. This score is going to be terrible and it's definitely going to end up in a loss. So that's, that's just what we're going to, it's just what we, it's just what happens sometimes. Right, we're going to re roll this two and hope that it's not a five or a two. Are you serious? Okay, it's an 11 and we're gonna lose our third and final ball. <laughs> How often can we change physical dice? As much as we need to. Do we think we should, re you think we should go with these see-through boogers? These boogers are like my high, high quality boogers. <laughs> right, this is our last ball. Or essentially, if we lose now, then we're, we're screwed and we've lost ourselves 10 minutes, I think. That's a seven which we can't do anything with, but I think we'll do this one. If I can get back in here, it'll be okay. All right, it's a nine. That's good. We're into the subboard again. Oh my gosh, why am, why am I so stressed out? We've got a three. No, <laughs> please no. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Right, so if we've got... We need a four or any other number, essentially not, not, well, not a three or a six. So I think this is the best bet because if I roll a six, a five, a six, a five, or a three will be okay. It is almost done. We're nearly over. It's a five. Okay, we're into, we've got a seven up here and we're gonna come back down to, next, to the game board probably likely this time unless we get a four or a nine. We've got ourselves an eight, which will go in the, oh, open tunnel. All right, we're back out of the subboard. We are hanging on for dear lives, friends. Okay, we've got ourselves a tunnel. Maybe I actually, you know what? I should have probably gone in here, to be honest. I think I'm gonna go in there, because I've got, oh, all right, come on. Let's not make an, let's not make a mess. I'm gonna go into the subboard. I know that this will get me extra points, but this will extend my go, right? This will extend my game for a bit longer. 12, you absolutely do love to see it. Although of course, if I'd cross this off, I could put 12 in there, which is obviously that's called, that's just called luck, isn't it? Um, Cause it would have been doubled to 24, but there you go. We're just gonna keep on trucking. We've got a six, cross off that little guy. I think we're holding on. We've got four, which honestly I'm a bit terrified to re-roll because if I lose another ball, I am done. So I'm gonna put a four in here, even though I don't want to. If I roll a five, I'm coming back out, I think. It's an eight, we can get an eight to the open tunnel. I don't mind that. If we can open both tunnels, we might have a shot. <gasps> okay, all right. Um, let's go in here then and we'll open this tunnel. Now, if I get a double, I can put it in here. If I get a five, I can open this and come back into multi-ball. You need a multi-ball, you're dead meat. Should I open the multi-ball, you think? You think it's worth the risk of not getting this? Multi-ball, you're dead meat. I mean, I was already dead dead meat to begin with when I picked up the dice. All right, multi-ball's open. We need to now roll a nine to get back into the subboard, and then a double, which, Oh, it's a nine. All right, here we go. 
see, we were just starting off with some pressure, that's all. This, we were just... We were just trying to pile on the pressure. That's it. Whew, all right. Doubles, then. I need a four, a nine, or some doubles. Otherwise, we're going to have to come back out, which is annoying. Six. That's bad. Um, that's really bad. Now, I'm going to re-roll the two, because I can still roll a nine from this. And if I, but if I roll a double, if I roll a double, actually, this will be bad. If I roll a four, I'll actually lose because it's there's a banana flipper rather than, um, rather than anything else good. But if I get a six, a five, or a one, or a three, then I'm okay. Six, five, one, or a three. That was a five, so that's good. Nearly a double to bumpers. I feel like we've we've pulled this back from the jaws of defeat, but we're not quite at the jaws of victory just yet. That is brilliant, though. That is multi-ball. Oh, I'm going to take a sip of blueberry acai for that. That's a great roll. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Mm. It's kind of tasty. It's got a little, it's a little fruity, a little fruity action. We've got ourselves our bonus booger, and that is a good good thing. Bonus booger roll. Here we go. We need a four. I'll take a four. I suppose I could have... Oh, this one's open. No, it's not. No, no, I need a five to open this one. Sorry. Yeah, so we've got a four. That's double to bumpers. Don't mind it. I'm not sure I'm going to get a high score. <laughs> Maddie, thank you so much. You're extending the stream. Much appreciated. I hope everyone... Um, I hope you're not just in for 50 minutes of more punishment. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. We're at 7.55, and this is my stream counter. So, um, we got ourselves a double bumpers. That's pretty, that's pretty decent. Let's keep going. All right, that's interesting. We've got a double four. We can put an eight in here then, can't we? And um, we'll put an eight in here and we'll keep it, keep it going, <laughs> shall I swear? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm a bit, I'm a bit nervous about this. Oh, look at that. I mean, you've got to go with a 12 in the bumper, haven't you? Especially now we've got doubles and we can't get a five. Oh gosh. I don't know if we get through. A, I don't think we can get through a hall of the Dwarven King, but I can get. We can get through some short stuff. I think. I've got a few games that we can get through in fifteen minutes, definitely. In fact, a couple that I'm very excited about. I'll be honest. Right, this isn't good, is it? Because we've got a six, a five, which is eleven. We've got a six and a three, which is. Oh no, I can put a nine in. That's okay. Yeah, we can put a nine in here. That's good. That's okay. I still need a five. If I can just get a five, we'll have double to targets as well. And I think we'll be okay. Good luck with your child washing. That's not a sentence I've ever said before, but thank you again. Ooh, hello. Um, right, that is bad. Because now we've got double sixes, which we can't put in. And we can't use a seven. So we're going to have to re-roll one of these sixes, I think. It can't be a six or a one, which is a bit daunting. But let's just let's just see how it goes. It's a five. Do we have any place to put a six or an 11? No, we don't. That's it. That's the game over. Oh, I really was thinking we could maybe push past. I thought we could maybe push past what we'd done. But we were not able to. With no way to get into the subboards. No way to get in the subboards. Getting her out. Yep, that's true. Thanks, Maddie. Have a good rest of your night if I don't see you. Or if you're around, you know, at 10 p.m. When I once I've won 50 games in a row, then you know, hop back on. <laughs> um, yeah, nowhere to put this, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to add up some points. Ah, oh, dear. Well, it's okay. Bumpers. Here we go. 16 uh, plus four is 20. 32. That's 32, 40, 47, 48, 58. 58 plus 6 is 
four, 66, 76, plus nine is 85, times two is 170. Can I have some adjudicators in the, in the chat? Um, we did not get double to target, so unfortunately we're just gonna get what we get. So that's five, 10, plus 10 is 20. Five, 10, plus 10 is 20, so that's 40. 45, 50, 55. 60, 65, 70 plus 10 is 80, 85, 90, 95, 100 plus 10 is 110. Tunnels, we're going to score ourselves 20. And uh, yeah, let's not talk about this. No extra points. So, oh, and we should have checked off active multiple. Correct so far. Okay, good. That's good. What have we got? 280, 300. What did I say? A, a good score was going to be 380 hold on double check that yeah we've fallen short 379 was my target score so we'll get 300 i made it no we we've got to play by the rules here that's how this stream goes we've still got ourselves an extra five minutes don't worry but it was 745 i'm just going to put a big l here <laughs> 745 and You know what? I don't think it's a loss. I think we've done okay. I'm gonna put myself on the. Uh, I gotta put myself on the. Uh, on the scoreboard, surely. No, I'm just kidding. I mean that might uh, that, that might take a bit long if I try to do that for every game. That is an L. So, on to the next game. What I've been playing recently, um, and I've been playing a lot of, as evidenced by these multiple game sheets, is. Da Vinci Dice. This is a very simple push your luck, roll and write polyhedral dice game. And by golly, I have been absolutely addicted to it. This is by Joe Boyden. He, or not Boyden, sorry, Boyden. Joe Boyden. It's part, it was his entry into the eighth i believe roll and write contest which i think is actually still going on voting is now closed but i think i don't think that the results have been tabulated um but this game has flippin got me i don't know exactly why or what it is but i just absolutely love it so i'm gonna play it for you and show you what it's like um i need a 12 sided dice i need a four sided dice an eight why is this different colors that's odd have i got a different I mean, I don't want to be too, I don't want to be, I'm already too fussy about it, but yeah, all right, that's fine. That's a different color, isn't it? It's a different blue. Where's my, <laughs> where's my other top side of the dice? Here it is. Okay, that's better. Is it? No, I can't tell. Right, so what we do in this game is very, very simple. We roll dice and just try to arrange them in numerical order. That's it. And essentially, you score based on how many dice you're able to lock in numerical order and how many dice you're able to um, make runs and sets with. So say we got like a... Um, it's going to be difficult for, a, for, a, for these dice. I'm just going to have to tell you what the dice score is because I don't think you'll be able to see them. I oh, know, I can't. I can't help it, sorry. So let's say we get like a, a 1 on a die, d4, a 2 on a d6, and a 3 on a d8, we'd score a run. If we got a 4 on a d12, that would be a run of 4, we'd score 4 extra points. If we get something like this, say I've got a 4 on the d4 and a 6 on the d6, we also score for the maximum score on a dice. Um, if we get, if we manage to get four dice in order, oh no, sorry, if we're able to get five dice in order, so let's say I get something like this, where I've got four, six, eight, nine, eighteen, I crack the code, and my next level, I'm going to score double points. After that, if I crack the code again, I'm going to score triple points. After that, four times points, but obviously it gets harder because as you go up a level, a lot, it's called a lock level, you have to lock more dice after every roll. Let me show you how this works. This game is such, a, it's just a lot of fun, and it's so simple that you can just play it over and over again, and I think that makes it a brilliant game. So, I sense that I might play more than one, one of these because it's, I don't know, I can't stop. So, we roll our dice, and we've got ourselves a 1, a 5, a 6, a 13, and a 3. So, right now, I need to lock just one dice. I'll lock this 6, because it means that we're definitely going to be able to re-roll 
we re-roll any dice we don't lock. And it means we're definitely able to score with this dice as well, obviously. So we, we're, we've got no chance of busting. Because at any point, if we're not able to lock the required amount of dice, then we bust. So we're, we're locking that six. Um, and it's going to score us two points as long as we don't bust again. So we've got an eight, which is brilliant. We've got a 14 and a four. And this is a one. Now, obviously, this is out of place. So I could try and re-roll just this one and score ourselves the lock, right? Score ourselves the entire code. But I might as well just keep going to see if I can score some more points. So I've locked the eight, the six and the eight. We've got ourselves a four, which is brilliant. And I've got myself an 18. So I can try to re-roll just this one or just this one. Um, or sorry, not just this one. I can try to roll re-roll just this or I can try to re-roll these two. And if I can get more than eight, then I'll be okay. However, if I don't roll more than eight on any of these dice, then I will bust. So I'm almost tempted to just write down these four and score myself one, two, three, four, plus three points for these maxed values. So one point for four, one point for six, one point for eight. This doesn't score me points for max, because obviously it's not max. Let's, let's, let's push it. It's not funny if you don't push it, isn't it? <laughs> no. Okay, we're going to start again. Okay, this that was just a test. That was just a test, but that's how you go bust. And we would write X's in here and not score for this round. But that's just, that was just a test. Okay, we're not, we're not doing this. Oh yeah, I need to tell you what score we need to get. So my average score on this game over uh, one, uh, about 12 games so far is 53.8. So I think if I score over 55 points, that's a win. And that was just a test, again, just a test. So we're now gonna play for real. That was a practice round, here we go. We've got a six again, so we'll lock that. We've got a nine on this, which is fine. We've got a two here, six here. We obviously can't lock this. So I'm just gonna lock the six and we'll go from there. Oh yeah, each super chat is 15 minutes. Although, I mean, <laughs> I'm not expecting people to abuse that, but I see, I see where the problems could arise. Could arise. We've gotten ourselves an eight, so this is good. We're, we're rolling well, and this time I'm probably going to be less likely to gamble. Yeah, this is, this is going to be it for me. So I can't lock either of these because they're not more than eight. They have to go in ascending order. So I'm going to lock a one, a six, and an eight and call it a day. It's not a brilliant start, but it's okay, and it's better than going bust. So one, six, eight, nothing, nothing, because we're not locking them and we're gonna circle the max amounts. So we've scored ourselves five points. We've got, how many rounds have we got? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight rounds to score 55. <laughs> I don't know if you can do a 50 cent super chat, but I hope you can. I, hope you can. <laughs> I didn't take a nap, but I did wake up quite late and I think there's coffee still in the pot. So, <laughs> so I guess, I guess, you know, see you on the other side. Right, we've, we've completed that round, so why am I using a black pen? Come on, let's get real. Let's start playing with something fancy. Let's get some purple in here. So we're going to move on to the next round. The lock level remains at one because we did not crack the code. So what do we lock here? Remember, oops, we remember we, was that a two? I think it was a two. So remember, we score points for runs and sets, and that means going across and down and diagonal on this grid. So for example, if I were to lock this seven, we're looking pretty good to get an eight, seven, six run, for example. Also, this two is looking pretty good because I could get a one, two, three. So I think I will decide to lock both of those. This is a two, this is a seven, and we'll just see what we can get. I need somewhere in between a three, well, I need a three, four, five, and a six. This needs to be more than seven, and this needs to be more than seven as well. If I can roll a 20, then even better, right? It's a 10, a four, and a five. So that, that's gonna add to my runs as well. Perfect. A 10 and a four isn't super helpful, but I would like to think, <laughs> oh, here it comes. That's 15 minutes. I'm, I'm, I don't want to have to change the rules, but here we go. It's eight o'clock. <laughs> So it begins. Let's try and roll more. Uh, it basically, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna end up me having to play games that I hate in order to lose. 
<laughs> Thank you, though. Um, you are most appreciated. Um, and yes, thank you very much. Oh, and it's 8.15. <laughs> okay, maybe this, was, maybe this was a good idea. Maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe I, may, maybe I need to make a rule, a rule change, I don't know. 8.15 it is. That is a bit close for my liking. I'm going to stick with that. I'm not going to crack the code again this turn, but 8.30. But... <laughs> Why did I do that? Okay, maybe I should have done five minutes for every super chat. That would have been better. Right, we're going to stick with this, and we'll do two, five, seven, eight. Nothing on this one, but... Nice. A45. We are going to be rolling dice all night long, ladies and gentlemen. Let's flip and do it. So, how this works is we've got a 2, 5, and a 7. We don't score any extra points this time around, but we're setting ourselves up quite nicely. Because if we get a 3, a 4, and a 6 on this next round, boy oh boy, we're going to be scoring some grand old points. So, I'm that's really what I'm banking on, essentially, is, is just... Yeah. Oh bloody hell! All right, don't make me ch don't don't make me change the rules. Right, so wait, what is it? Hang on, let me count up my super chats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I got nine o'clock. <laughs> nine o'clock. Unless I, I mean, unless I start throwing games, in which case that, you know, it's possible. Right, what do I need? I need a three on this dice. I don't care about this one, really. I need, don't care about this one. I could really do with an eight. If I get an eight on my D20, I'll have a diagonal set there. Eight, eight, eight. So that could be pretty nice, too. Eight here would be good as well, because it'd be six, seven, eight. So, I need a 6 on my d8, I need a 4 on my d6. So honestly, I haven't rolled anything good. Um, I suppose I might just stick with 10, which is a bit risky because it's keeping everything else quite small, but I mean, only this can go above 10, so it's not that bad. Not leaving before my bedtime. I suppose that depends what your bedtime is. I mean, I've seen you on, I've seen you online I've seen you online at all hour, wee hours of the morning. <laughs> I like the thought you're just going to be like doing your nighttime routine with me rolling dice in the in the background. So like you're going to be brushing your teeth and I'm like, okay, here we go. We've got all I need is a six. Right, we've got lots of twos and sevens, which is not entirely what I wanted, but let's see if we can do anything with it. Um, I'll do... A 10 here and a 7 here, that seems okay. I really still want a 6 here. And then I'm really still holding out for a 3. Oh no, now I've got to count up again. If we count up, we're going to be, we're, we're using up time. Hold on. Right, so we started at 7, we started to go to 7.30. So Maddie took it to 7.40. No, wait, no. It was 7.40, then Maddie took it to 7.55. Then I lost, and it went to back to 7.45, and then 15 minutes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oh yeah, I think you're, I think you're not, I think you're right, is it 9.15? Yeah, 9.15, fine, all right, you've caught me, I'm, I'm already trying to cook the books. I'm going to need another, I'm going to need another index card. 9.15 it is, what time does, what time does Vestelka go to bed? I don't know. Um, did I just roll these? I can't remember if I did. No, these are all twos and sevens. Right, so we're going to go under twos and sevens, ho or under sevens, hopefully, for everything else. Um, again, I need a six, a four, and a three, ideally, to score mad points. We've got a four, a six, and a two, which obviously wasn't part of the plan, but I'm not too upset about giving it or give me extra points. I mean, it's not brilliant. Mm, which, which one of these do I jeopardize? 
I suppose I'm rolling these. If I'm rolling these two, I'm hoping that. Well, I know I'll keep this. I'll I'll get rid of my six five four chances and score two points for this. But I'll re-roll with these two because if I can score a three, then I will. I sleep when I'm dead. Yeah, dead of dead of dice. What? Dead from dice rolling syndrome fatigue. That sucks because I got a one and I could have had a three. But. There you go. Um, I'm not going to re-roll this because obviously I can't fit a number in between six and seven, so this is going away. So that, that game was a bit of a bust, um, although it's going to be okay. We've got a six here, which will give us an extra point. We've got a seven here. No, I don't have anything here. I've got a seven here, which will start off an eight, seven, six run, maybe. And I've got a ten here. So that's four plus one is five, another five points, and that's 14. We're not doing super, super great. Yeah, it's true. If I just keep losing, but only get the time extended by Super Chats, I suppose that's fine, but also I'll be upset just for myself. <laughs> right, we've got a four, and I don't mind it. We've got a two here, which isn't that good. We've got a four here, which isn't... I don't care about the D8, really, because I'm not going to be able to do anything with it anyway. Sixteen is kind of useless. I'm going to stick with my four and then just roll everything. It's viewers versus Matt's luck. Exactly, that's pretty good, isn't it? That's a good, that's a good setup. I'll take this six, um, for sure. And now we've got a ten here, which I don't care for. I want this to be a six. This can be anything. This can. Be, oh, it can't be a six now. This can't be a six because I can't have a six be more than a six. So I'll re-roll all these. I'd say I've still got a pretty good chance of getting more than six on at least one of th these three dice. I'd like to crack the code at least once in the game so we can get up to higher levels, but there you go. We've got ourselves an eight and an 11, and I suppose I don't mind that because it'll keep on the possibility of a run. So I'm not gonna roll this again to be a seven, so I'm gonna stick again. So we'll go four, six, which will get us two extra points. Nothing for the D8, which happens a lot, I've, I've found. I've found that I'm usually, or often, not scoring the middle dice. But that's just how you go. <laughs> if, I, if I win, I'm just going to keep pushing it. Yep, exactly. So we've got one, two, three, four, plus two is six. Really, all I need to be doing is trying to score an average of six points per round. Now, because six, six times eight would be 48, if I can get a bit more than that, Maybe I can break the 50, what did I say, 53 or 55 mark? So I probably need more like, what is 55 divided by 8? Something like 7. So I need 7 points per round, about, about uh, approximately more than that. So we haven't done very well so far, but we'll just carry on. Sometimes you can have a, you, sometimes you can have a game where you score 20 points in a round. <laughs> you can watch the sunrise. <laughs> it's going to be so romantic. Um, like tomorrow, there was gonna be like a, there'll be like a, a four, uh, like a, a ten-hour YouTube video upload on my channel, and people are gonna wonder what the hell's going on. Um, right, this I thought that was good, but actually it's not because it's a one. T I've got a one, a two. I could certainly hold out right for a three, and that would be cool because it would get me some points. However, I'd also like to try and maximize this set. I've got, I've got, a, I've got a three sixes just waiting for me here. And I've got a 789 waiting for me too. So I think I'm going to sacrifice this one, essentially. We'll put one here, and we're just going to try and roll everything to get myself some good stuff. I need a, I need a 6 on my D6 and a 9 on my D12. And a 12 on my D10. No, a 12 on my D20, sorry. I'm not even rolling a D10. Um, right, that's rubbish. This is fine. Um, this is interesting because I could theoretically hold it and wait for sets of 11. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock this one because then I know I'm not going to go bust on my, my D6. So I've got a 7 in the middle and we'll re-roll these three. All dice long, all dice. All dice long, all dice. A little bit of Lionel Richie for you. We've got a 6. That's good. This is bad. This is fine. Do I risk it? <laughs> oh, you think on Friday nights I'm not up for a, I'm not for, uh, up for an all nighter? I mean, to be fair, what day is it? Tuesday. Last night I went to bed at 
five thirty. Oh god, it was a, just a, we just got. Uh, my wife and I got into a bit of a hole um, looking at the polyvagal theory. So there you go. Yeah, blueberry size, pretty good. You have to get up at four thirty tomorrow. Ugh, that is bad. Oh shit, I hope your sister's okay. Yeah, some sleep at some point probably is a good idea. All right, well, that, that leaves me some hope then. Um, what do we think? Do we gamble with this or do we just do we just keep our points? We've got, we'd get ourselves one, two, three, four, plus three. We get ourselves seven points for this. No, eight points for this. Or do we gamble to see if I can roll more than a seven? I think that's what I said, yeah. You know what? At some point we need to get the Europeans on this on in, in the chat, don't we? So we need to get like we need to get Sir Thekos and Koala Pete. Uh we need to get them involved. Um we need to get the we need to get the Europeans in here. So if it takes all night, then then we'll have to do it. Sleep until five forty five. That that is that's my bedtime. It's disgusting. D one hundred legends are all missions. <laughs> Just is basically like it would be the Lord of the Rings trilogy, except on paper and pen. Um, do I push it? I can't decide. I think you know what I'm having a bad round, so I might. Which means that do I push it or not? I mean, sometimes it means you push it more. Sometimes it means you need to push it less, and I can't decide. I'm gonna push it, and we'll just see. I mean, obviously, it's my prerogative to lose at this point, isn't it? Oh, it's good. That is good. I am not I'm not messing with it. Right. We've got 1 6 7 11 17. We've messed up this 7 8 9 run, but I don't care cuz we've got ourselves a cracked code. This 6 is going to give us an extra point and this set of 6s, 666, six, six, is going to get us 3 points. This is nothing else good. I'm just looking at the grid. I think we're okay. So we've got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 points for 29 and we move up to lock level two so what that means is that when we when we roll every time we roll we have to lock two dice so i know 2k subs madness absolutely madness we need to lock two dice on this and the only viable ones really are one and five aren't they these all cannot be locked so we're going to re-roll all of these and just see what happens. It's kind of rubbish because I would have liked to do something better. 2,000 minute stream. Okay. Uh, what's 2,000 divided by 60? <laughs> How many hours are we talking here? That's a 12 and a 5 and a 10. And I think that means we've just gone bust. Oh, that's so annoying. I hate it when that happens. This is great. This is rubbish. That's rubbish because we can't have a 5 next to a 5. So unfortunately, we've just bust on our first opportunity to score double points, which is really a shame. 33 hours, okay. Um, all right, I mean, I think I have, isn't that the kind of thing you have to consult a doctor before doing? Do I have to like get a fitness test or something? Two, five, four, five, ten, which are all rubbish. And the fact that we've busted on this means we can no longer get any downward sets, which is really quite frustrating. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just re-roll almost everything. Um, I think by almost everything, I mean everything except this ten. I, if you can get me to 10,000 subs, I will stream all day, all night long. That sounds fine. If I can stream for subs, I'm in. I'm doing it. Um, we've got a 1, a 1, a 4, and a 6. God, these are awful. Um, I suppose we're going to do this? Keep the 6? Or keep the 1? I guess I'm going to keep the 1. God, that sucks. Because, um, I mean, at least I want to try to score some points. Pay for a billboard. Do you like solo board games? We've got a six, so that's nice. We've got a three and a seven, so those aren't quite as good. Do I think we can get more than a six, less than a 12 on here? Seven or an eight here? I'm not sure we can, but honestly, I don't really like the thought of just scoring four points. 
No, I'm not going to push it this time. I'm just going to score four. This is going. This is a terrible round. I'm really sorry. I am going to lose on this game. I didn't do it on purpose. One, six, nothing, nothing, ten will score us. One, two, three, four points. Gosh, that's awful. I'm going to play another one of these. I'm not going to play another game of this um, right afterwards because it will be 10,000 minutes. Okay, so that's, what is that? Uh, what do you say? 2,000 was, was 33 hours? Done. Easy. We've rolled ourselves a 20. That's nice. These are the ones rubbish. So we're just going to... Oh, hang on. No, not rubbish. Look at that. Two, three, four. Yeah, fine, I'll take that. I would like to re-roll this and try and get a one, but I don't think it's worth the risk. So, two, three, four in the middle. Um, oops, hello, that was a four. Two, three, four. It sounds like some sort of, like, sick big brother, like... You mean, you, you have to give me breaks for meals and things. We've got one, two, three, four locked, plus one, two, three in a, in a, in a straight, so that's seven, plus 120, which is an eight. Eight points, 41 points. So, shy of shy of the 55 target, but I'll tell you what, we're going to play this again because it's nice and easy and I enjoy it. And then if we lose again, then we'll move on to a different game because that is one of the rules I didn't mention is that if you lose twice in a row, then no one wants to watch that. So here we go. We're moving on. Da Vinci Dice take two. And let's see if we can actually... see if we can actually come up with a decent score. I would love to add 10 minutes to the stream. Thank you very much. Let's do it. We've got a three. We've got a two, a five, an 18. I mean, nothing really standing out to me, to be honest. Um, I don't really care for many of these rolls because none of them are the top and none of them are really looking like straight. So yeah, like Survivor, yeah, for sure. Just don't, don't. <laughs> Just pump a heart into my veins. Oh, should we go for a different colored pen? That'd probably make a difference, won't it? Let's go, for, what about this purple? Oh yeah, that's quite nice. All right, we'll go with this, a nice royal purple. I'm gonna stick with 18 and go top down on this. And you get a bucket, cheers. Yeah, thank you. That's nice. Shots of adrenaline. <laughs> Some coffee shots, like little caffeine tabs. We've got a four, that's good. We've got a seven, that's rubbish, and a six and a one is bad. So we're gonna stick with the four and keep rolling. We've got a 12 on our 12, that is also nice. We've got a six and a two, those aren't great. Do we think we can roll this to be a five or a six? And no, this would have to be a five. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna do that then. So that's, that's not worth the risk. So we've got a four. Nothing, we've got a 6, we've got a 12 and an 18, I don't know why I was going to write 20. So this gets us an extra point, this gets us an extra point, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 points, and that is a better start than last time. So... <laughs> Reduce the red ball in the fight. So it just ends up as like, a, well, like fruit roll-ups, except red ball. We've got an eight on an eight, on a, bleh, an eight on our eight, which is good. I will take it. I'm going to re-roll the rest of it though because they're they're all rubbish. Um, nine, five, yeah, all of those are going. That's an eight. I keep hitting the dice. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Again, this might be something I need to talk to my physician about, but that that you know, there's there's time for that, isn't there? We'll go with this eleven because then we've got twelve, eleven going down. And I'll stick, ooh, I could stick with this three. God, stop it. I'm gonna stick with this three as well. This needs to be a four, five, or a six, and this needs to be higher than an 11. Hmm, that's what, 50 times, what is that? 50% chance on here, plus like 50% chance on here. I don't know how you work that out, I forget. 19 is good, 3 is not good, but I'm going to stick. I'm not risking it again. 3, nothing, 8, 11, 19. This is very good because 8 will give us an extra point. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And again, we're lining up some pretty decent runs. If we can get a 2 here and a na nothing here, 10 here and a 20 here, then we've got ourselves some real sets. 
Oh, I should have written the lock level again. 11, lock level one, lock level one. Let's get it. Two on the D4, please. It's a one on the D4. We've got a 10 on there. That's awful. Oh my gosh, this is a terrible run. Okay, um, that's fine. You know what? I'll take this three here because I need a two on this anyway. So we'll just call it. Um, we'll try and get an eight on this and we'll try and get a 20 on the D20. Oops, hang on. Yeah, that's what I said. Three on the six, yeah. So we want a two on the D4, please. We've got again a one on the D4, and good lord, these dice are terrible. Um, we can't place this. This could get placed. This is awful. We're going to have to maybe sacrifice our one. Yeah, I mean, we'll sacrifice this run again to just stay in business. Surely we can roll some dice more than a three. 14 on here, 12 on here, which I will keep. Three on here, which I can't keep. 14 on here, which I could. This needs to be a four, five, six, or a four, five, six, seven, or eight. So basically five eighths of a chance and eight twentieths of a chance. Why not? I mean, might as well, eh? No. No, 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 no. Bust. That was a 2 and an 8, I think, or a 10. I can't remember, but it was bad. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just gone for the points. Although, I mean, the points weren't very good. Mm, 11 points still. Actually, we're doing worse than we were last time. Bloody hell. And there's my 19, which I would have liked. Six on that dice is good. Seven on this, actually, I don't mind, because we could theoretically try to get an eight here. Oh, yeah, these dice are awful. That should be, yeah, that should definitely be on them. <laughs> that is definitely a bingo spot, isn't it? I mean, I know that bad roll is on there, I think, but something definitely to do with my a comment in regards to how bad the dice are, for sure. That's all, yeah, it just happens too many times. Or maybe you should just have a full bingo grid of all just me complaining about the dice. I mean, I suppose on a dice a that that's likely to happen, isn't it? That's a one, which is god-awful. This is a three, which I might just take. Um, no, you know what? I'm going to keep this ten. I'm going to re-roll this to see if I can get a four. I mean, I don't know. Might as well, you know. Right, we've got a three and I'll stick it there because um, this would have to be eight or nine and that's not a chance I'm going to take. So we've got ourselves, I swear, to, I swear I've swear i been playing this game all week and I've been doing quite well. I've got like my highest score I think is in the 70s, which isn't brilliant, I don't think, but it's better than what I'm doing now. Four, five, we're on 16 points for goodness sake. Oh, Lord Richard, thank you very much. An offering to the dice gods. Oh, I forgot to take the I forgot to take the uh, I forgot to take the time off for my loss. So we're down to nine twenty. But it's much it's much appreciated. Yeah, exactly. Matt gets all the numbers that he looked for on the dice. We've got a four. That's good. Is a good start at least. Um, everything else is trash. So we will treat it as such and keep rolling. Ooh, we've got five, six, seven, haven't we? No, no, we don't have a five, six, seven because that is needed there. Mm, that's frustrating. Um, Should I keep this seven? No, probably not worth it. Four, five. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I'm a bit predictable. I need to roll this, move this up, sorry. Right, let's think about this. I'm getting too carried away. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting too excited with the moment. Four, five. 
if I keep this seven, then I'm like really limiting myself to quite... If I keep this six, I can't basically, cannot roll this. And this needs to be just more than six, which I already have. So it's kind of pointless. Unless I get 20, which is... Oh yeah, sorry. Obviously, we we want the losses to be... <laughs> we don't, we want to... We want to cancel out the losses, of course. Thank you. 9.35. And may the dice gods bless you eternally. At my cost, apparently. At my cost. So this is what we're going to go with. We'll go with a... And this wasn't a 10, was it? Was it a 10? No, it was a 7. Um, so we're going to go with this, four, five, nothing, six, seven, gosh, that's awful. Uh, one, two, three, we're only scoring four points for that, so it gets us to 20. It does set us up for, again, I've said this a lot, it sets us up for some decent straights if we can get them, um, but we haven't had any yet, really. We've got a set and we've got one straight. Hasn't been a good round, but we're going to keep trucking. I need a 4 on my d6, and I don't have it. We've got a 2 here, which is useless also. We've got a 13 here, which I think I'll keep, and then we'll just re-roll everything else. I need a 4 on my d6. That'll at least get me some points. We've got a 2, a 10 on my d12. We've got an 8 on the d8, which I will keep. I might just keep this. Let's just keep those, because, I mean, at least they're all in a row. Right, I need a 4 on my d6, please, and preferably a 4 on my d4 as well. 6 on the d6, and a 3 on the d4, and that's fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that. 3, 6, 8, 10, 13. That means we get two extra points here, and we get our full row. So that's 5, 6, 7 points, and up to double next turn if we can get oops uh, this was a one sorry and this is a two if we can get ourselves a nice big run then we might do okay come on now i need a two here oh, i was gonna say a seven on my d6 yeah that'd be good <laughs> 25 is 25 one dollar tips <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's that's pretty reasonable. I was thinking this might be an issue, but it's okay. I'm um, gonna get a four, six, seven, ten. No, it's fine. I've got so so. I'm just all the only option for a straight really is a two on my d4, which is fine. Um, but there you go. I've got a three on my d4 and a six on my d6, which I will keep. Um, I'm gonna re-roll all of these because um, this gets me. This, this is going to get me four points if I can lock it. 15 on the that, which is good. We've got three here. That's not good. I'm going to re-roll. Like, oh, oh, shit. I forgot. Sorry, I'm supposed to be locking. I'm supposed to be locking two at a time. Uh, let me just restart this round. Sorry. I'm supposed to be locking two at a time, and I just forgot, because I haven't been doing it for the entire game since I haven't had any flipping codes cracked. I've only managed to crack the code once. Well, twice now. I need to lock two dice, remember that, um, which is actually awful because, good lord, look at these dice. They're all terrible. Um, we've got... <laughs> what is this? How have, I rolled... How have I rolled a set of polyhedral dice and not rolled above a, f uh, above a six? Oh, gosh. Um, right, what do I do in this case? Do I keep this? Six? Obviously can't keep this one, because there's, there's, there's no way to score these. I really... I can't keep this four, because then there's no real way to score the others, unless I roll under four for the rest. I think this is the one I have to keep, and then... What other one? This and this, maybe? And then is it is what's the chances of me getting 
well, the chances of me being able to place at least this one is three quarters, right? Because I can roll, I can place a three, two, or a one. This one is one eighth, and then this one is something else. All right, I think I might be able to do it. We've locked two, and good lord. I mean, that's just terrible. Oh, we've got a two. Well, that's good. Um, no, it's not, because that is not, and that is again under... <laughs> I hate dice. Why do I hate dice so much? I love dice. I swear I've been doing well at this game. Two, four, one, six, five. We've gone bust again on our first opportunity to lock or to score double points. This game's even worse than the last one. We've got an eight. We've, how have we done it again? Three, one, five. Five. So we're back down to lock level one, by the way, because that was an absolute failure. One, three, five, eight. Um, which of these do I want to keep? Um, obviously none of them, but if I was forced to choose, I suppose I might keep the eight. I was thinking about winning a game, yeah, at least once. I told you I was going to try and not throw these, but apparently that's just what's happening. We've got a one and a two, and we've got a four. I mean, on our last roll, should we just try and roll this as a three and just see what happens? Or is that a bad idea? Probably a bad idea. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. oh, so help me. I swear. I swear. Look, I promise. I've got... I've got... I've got sheets of evidence to prove that I've played this and actually got good scores. See, look at all these runs and sets. I planned this one out really nicely. 72 points. 49. 57. 64. 49 in my first game. That's more than... I, oh, no, the second game. That's more than I managed this. Next game. Next game. Next game. Rude Da Vinci dice. Right, let's see what we've got here. We're down to 925, so that's good, I guess. Yeah, we need, we need some. Uh, yeah, I know. I was really hoping that Da Vinci dice would be my, uh, would be my, my lot, my, my like winning ticket. What's next? I think um, I'm gonna play. Right, I think if we can't if you can't win at your own game, then then what what's the point? So let's play some seven steps. I haven't put this on the channel before, so um, likely not many people are familiar with it. So I'll tell you about it. This is a bit it feels a bit self-indulgent, but you know what? We're just gonna do it because it's fun. I think it's a good or at least I think it is. I think it's a. I think it's. I think it works half decent. Although I still need to play test it a bit more to make sure that it's somewhat balanced. But with that in mind, uh, let's just uh, let's just dive in. We're going. We need. Uh, we need. How many dice do we need? Ten. So we need one, two, three, four, five. We'll take all these kind of heavenly blue dice. I think. Um. Just want to add some more dice. <laughs> Roll a dice, and as long as you don't land it on an edge, you win. Exactly. Imagine it's just like spinning. It's like a what's that? It's like Inception. It just <laughs> spins like a totem indefinitely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where's my last? Where's my last heavenly blue dice? It's got to be around here somewhere, hasn't it? Here it is. And we'll use uh, we'll use a nice. Yeah, I was gonna say, if if we get it if we get it on a corner, that that's a that's a loss. But otherwise, I think it should be okay. Let's use a nice um, pink challenger dice. Right. So the aim of this game is to get from the shores of the mountain to the very top, the Garden of Earthly Delights, where your true love waits. This is. A game that I designed uh, last year for the 
seventh roll and write game challenge, I think. Yeah, exactly. It's not play tested, so essentially I should be able to win because I'll just tell you if I won or not. Um, the rules state that... Let me pull them up. Hold on. <laughs> I can't believe I've lost so many games. It's just, why is it? Why is my life, what has my life become? What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Right. Eight plus is a score that is brilliant. Seven is like a very, very good, or a very good score. Six, four to six is like, yeah, you've done all right. One to three, not so good. I would say, let's aim for six six dice above the board at the end of the game. I'll show you what that looks like. But I think that'll lead us to, that could lead us to a victory again. I mean, don't hold your breath, but let's just see how it goes. Right, the way we do this game um, is like this. We've got two dice in reserve and seven dice on the shore. These are our sins, our seven deadly sins, as you might imagine. We're trying to relinquish. Every time we get to pass, every time we pass a challenge using dice, we put the dice we used up above the Garden of Earthly Delights, um, essentially telling us um, that we've we've unburdened our sins. Exactly. Yeah, I did say yeah, it's true. Yeah, I mean this is this is what that's why I put it in place. I'm just I'm just making sure that people are going to get their money's worth. I guess. Yeah, we really do need. To. Did I see eight? I said eight before the stream? Wait, what do you, what do you mean? Eight, eight as in like a player, a, a score of eight is good? Did I say that? Well, eight is like the best score, but I think if we get a six, we've done all right. I think if we get a six, we've done all right. That's what I'm going to go with. So essentially on each step we need to pass this dice challenge and we can use as many dice as we want. We can roll the dice as many times as we want. And we can use these Virgils um, that we have. We start with three, we can earn more by taking extra dice as punishment. Again, I'll just show you how it looks. I am confusion. So, well no, eight's the best, but, but six is a win, okay? Six is a win. All right, it's not like... If we can get eight, I'll take eight. But if I can get six, I'll take six. So this is our first challenge. We need to roll less or equal to three. Now we can roll as many dice as we want to to achieve this. We can add them up or just use single dice. So for example, if I were to roll two dice, and I'll just do this to begin with, we've rolled ourselves a four and a five. So I could spend a Virgil to flip this five to a two, and then I'll use this dice as... Um, to pass the challenge, it goes up above. I've exalted my one, or whatever, I've relinquished one of my sins, and this goes into the sun phase. That means that I can't use it for the next turn, but that's okay because I've still got five dice with which to um, with which to continue. Now I could, before I roll, um, take a dice either from up here or from my reserve, put it into the sun, um, and earn an extra Virgil. Which I might do, to be honest, it's not a bad idea. And it does help you get an extra it does usually help you get a higher score if you've got more dice in play, obviously. Um uh we're up past 830. Um eight's best, six is okay, so better than zero we win. Perfect. Done. I have to see, I mean, even if, if we get to the top, I think that's a win, isn't it? Surely. There is a loss condition, so as long as we don't hit the loss condition, which is that you don't have more dice to roll, then I think we should be okay. Yeah, we're up to nine, nine twenty-five. Um, after some shenanigans, after some super chat shenanigans from these boys. So, um, let's roll the challenge dice again and just see uh, see what we get. Wait, I didn't, I didn't mean to check that off. I meant to write an initial. I am not winning any dice game, zero. So we need to roll less than nine minus three, which is six. So I think we can do that again with two dice. If I can get these both of these dice to add up to less than six, I will. And it's a seven, but I'll spend a Virgil. I don't mind. I'm not ashamed. 
oops, and we'll use uh, 2 plus 2 is less, for goodness sake, 2 plus 2 is less than 9 minus 3. So those two sins are exalted as well. So now we've got uh, dice in the sun phase. Um, what we do at the end of the turn is move them down to the moon, and at the end of the next turn, the moon will come into the pool again, and we keep rotating them around, you know, faster and faster, uh, fa not faster and faster, but like per turn. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. As long as you don't hit the last condition. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that was a real, that was just a real blatant, like, call to fate, wasn't it? So we need to equal, we need to equal this challenge, which is six plus or minus one, so five, six, or seven. We've got two Virgils to spare, so I'm not going to take another one. And I think, again, we can do this with two dice, and we should be okay. Five, six, or seven out of two dice shouldn't be too difficult. That's eight, but I think I'll spend another Virgil and just get it done. I'm going to get new dice next turn. So, yeah, I'm going to spend a Virgil. We'll get this down to five. We can So I should say a Virgil pluses or minus one or flips the dice. Okay, so this equals seven. Both of our sins, or those two sins, I should say, are lifted, and we progress. Now, there's no dice in the sun to go down to the moon, but there are dice in the moon to come back into our pool. So now we've got three dice with which to pass the next challenge. Yeah, I've got to have a time cap on the next one. So this is impossible, um, right? We need to score less than two minus two, in which case I'm going to have to take a dice as punishment, earn a Virgil, and then I'll cross out a Virgil and change this to five. So, um, at least now I've got some way to kind of carry on playing. Less than five minus two, that's just three. I'm going to try and just roll one dice for this. Ooh, hello. This might be the first time I've rolled a dice that actually worked. So, don't mind it. This will come in here, and we'll roll something plus this dice, three, equals ten. We can roll two for that, I think. Although, uh, I'm a bit nervous about running out of dice before the end. Let's take another Punishment dice, and I'll earn a Virgil for it, and that seems fine. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so, we need... Uh, what do we need to roll? Uh, oh, wait, why did I say nine? We need to roll seven, so I might as well just do this, shouldn't I? Four plus four is eight. We'll take one of those, because um, we'll flip it and make it seven, and we'll... Un will relinquish our sins in that regard. Now we've got two dice to roll for the rest of the challenge, which I'm a bit nervous about. <sighs> Equals five minus uh, five divided by two, which I suppose could either be two or three. This is where I need playtesting help. I either you have to pay to ch to flip this, which would be a bit harsh, um, or you. Oh, thanks very much, Bladed Edge. Um, that's uh, that's going to be what's that nine forty. 15 minutes. There it is. Um, so I think two or three. <laughs> yeah, that's something something like that. Yeah, I don't think I called it that in the... Um, I don't think I called it that in the title, but I think that might be what it turns into. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. I'll take an extra dice, just in case. So this is going to be a two or three. It's not, but it is going to be a two after I use a Virgil. So exalt is that one as well. And now we're on to the last challenge. And <laughs> needs more torture. Seven steps has enough torture involved. E equals seven minus five. Oh, sorry, this should have come in here. So we can... We need to roll a two which I suppose we could try to do with two dice, but let's just try with one to start with. And we can pay a Virgil and bump this up to two, and there you go. That is a game win. We've got all the way to the top. This one, is Sin is still left behind, unfortunately, but we have scored a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, what is he? What was that? <sighs> wasn't eight a win? I think that's what I said. Eight was a win, wasn't it? Wait, was a win. That's what we said. And we're going to 950. 
I mean, of course, you would hope I could win my own games, so I suppose this doesn't really... I haven't seen mine in three days. He won't stop rolling dice for some reason. Oh, dear. Yeah, I'm going to need more coffee, that is for sure. I think there might be a cup left in the pot, but I'm going to have to go check. <laughs> oh, thanks, Bladed Edge. The extra buck is appreciated, and I will... Uh, I'm <laughs> it would bump us past 10 p.m., which I don't know if I'm ready for. Oh, thanks a lot. That's much appreciated, man. Really, really, honestly. The torture continues. Next. Next game. I've got... I gotta chew on ice because I'm like, I'm getting. I think I'm gonna suffer. I'm gonna get dehydration by the end of this. Right. I've set aside some cool games that I need to. I needed to try. I've also got. Well, we've got 30 rails. That will take a little while. I've got City Line, which I've never actually played. The Selco's here, so you could tell me how to play it. I suppose. We've got. Um, yeah. Let me, let me show you. Let me just show you my, my pile at the minute. Oh, I could play. I could play again. Yeah, all right, that's fine. I don't know. I I was kind of I wasn't I wasn't sticking to it per se, but yeah, we'll play this again. That's fine. Oof, that's, that's fine, fine, fine. Let's do it. Hello, 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 hello. Right, the pro strat. I think because you saw how like I took dice from the oh thanks. <laughs> that's uh, that's that's going to bump us up past the old uh, the, past the old 10 p.m. mark. So that's good. Um, although I know that's that's midnight for you guys, and you've got to get up early, so you know, just watch. Be careful what you wish for. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two in reserve. One challenge dice. Let's get the nice purple. Right here we go. <clears throat> I think one of the pro strats in this game. More games over twice as you like, but once more is good. All right. Let's let's play one more round of this and then uh, and then we'll move on. I think the pro strat is to make sure you do take these dice, but if you ever can't take the dice, like you mess up, then you lose. So who knows? Who knows how it goes? Like this, for example, this is a pretty bad roll to start with. But if we check off a Virgil and flip it to five, we can get less than or equal to five. Probably out of two dice, I think. Because if we do like something like this, then that's good. Now, of course, if we do, um, if we do like fail a roll and we're not able to use a Virgil or we don't want to use a Virgil or using a Virgil won't help us, then of course we do one. We have to take more dice as punishment, so we don't get to keep the score we've done. I mean, that actually didn't come up last time, which is interesting. But here we're going to try and get less than nine minus three, which is six. Um, and I think we should probably. Well, let's just see if we can roll less than six. I mean, I think we should be able to at least with one dice. It's a three, so we'll take that. That's our sins exalted for that one, and I don't mind it too much. Um, I suppose what you could do as well, if you wanted to, is just check these off. Or, of course, instead of like placing the dice here, you could write the number in here. So, like, equals 2 plus or minus 1. You could do that as well, but it doesn't really matter. So, we're trying to get 1, 2, or 3. And I suppose we'll do that with one dice and see what happens. We've got a 6. Whoops. Which, yeah, we can use a Virgil to flip, can't we? So, that's fine. But now I'm out of Virgil, so I will take a Virgil as a punishment. Oh yeah, we got lots of dice. Um, you need to. You missed the guessing game, Scott. But write <laughs> down all these tracks. Yeah, look that one up later. <laughs> uh, right, that's less than three minus two, which is, well, as you may be aware, one. So I think we, although flipping it, oh, we don't have any Virgils. Okay, this could be this could be difficult. So, yeah, the, the one that always comes up trumps. That's a five, which is going to... 
not work. If I flip it over, it's going to be a two. So I'm going to take a dice as punishment. And when I take a dice from punishment for failing, they go into sun rather than moon. So I don't even get to play with them next turn. So um, I guess we're just going to keep trying. No, let's take another dice as punishment from Vir for a Virgil. These go into moons. A bit complicated there. I need to figure out those rules. But I'm going to earn myself a Virgil just so I can at least have the opportunity to try and... Hmm, try and not lose entirely. That is going to be a punishment because I can't flip it. Right, there we go. So all my sins have come back to me, unfortunately, during this terrace, but I've exalted one of them. Now, this is going to come here. These are going to go there, and we'll roll this challenge dice again. Something plus two equals ten. And I think, can we get eight with three dice? I think we probably could. I'm sensing like a... Hello? Hello? We've got a four, a two, and a three. Yeah, that's fine. We can do, um, what can we do? We can do this, we can Virgil this to a two, can't we? So plus or minus one. So four plus two plus two is eight. And that was a good roll, because now we've got lots of sins back above the board. And only three dice to roll with. So something or other divided by two. Four divided by two is going to be two. And oh! Maybe that's the dice. See, maybe that. Maybe it's this one. I need to mark it somehow. Two divided by or four divided by two is two, indeed. And so we shall continue. Now my maximum score is not going to be as high this time. If I am able to roll one, two, three, four, five, even if I can use both of these, I'll only score seven. But seven minus oh, I've got red I've got red marker everywhere. Seven minus five is two. If I, oh my gosh, I think it's raining. Wow, it hasn't rained in Seattle in so long. All right, well, I'm gonna go, uh, after 10 o'clock, I'm gonna go for a run if it's still raining, because it's gonna be nice. It'll be nice out. Oh gosh, that's that's good news. All right, sorry, um, I got distracted. Seven minus five is two. So I could try and roll a double, double one, essentially, um, or I could take a punishment and get myself a Virgil. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. It's like an insurance policy, essentially. Because if I don't do it, then if I keep missing challenges, then I won't be able... You know, you can't take a Virgil after you've already rolled. Right? I mean, that would just be silly. All right, this is fine. 7 minus 5 is 2. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of... Oh, I can pay the Virgil. Yeah, look at that. Double 1. I said that already. That's not bad. So this one comes back to me. I've passed all the challenges, and that is a score of one, two, three, four, five, six. And I think, did I say a six is a win or an eight is a win? I mean, Vasoko was on the board, on, on the edge, I should say. I don't know. I'll count it as a win. 10, 15 it is. It's not good that I can only win my own games, is it? Wait, that's... Now, I've, now I'm lost. I think this was a win. This was a super chat. I don't know. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It hasn't rained since this morning. It dry as a bone out here. Uh, well, I mean, we might sell in. It's only eight o'clock, so we've got two more hours of this. Uh, oh, I am quite thirsty. Uh. Oh, six is a win. Six is a win. Six is a win. Right, seven steps, that's seven steps. Go and try it out, I'll put the link in the description once I you know, wake up tomorrow. And uh, yeah, go ch check it out, let me know what you think, let me know how it can be improved. I know there's plenty of ways. Do I need to play some more paper pinball in order to push the time back down? Maybe, but I thought we could also play some. I've got, you know what? Let's have a quick game of Rolling Village. I haven't played this in a minute. And I've got this cut out already. It is a bit uneven, which is making me annoyed. Hold on. I mean, I know I didn't. I know I didn't like. I know. Oh, is it two hours fifteen? <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Sorry. I mean, I know. I know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't normally take time to craft in the middle of this type of uh, time pressured stream. But to be fair, I think the time pressure is just about over. If we've, we, we've seen that. <laughs> 
we've seen I'm not gonna be pushing up the numbers too much. 90 is a win. Okay. the date. Anything over 10 points is a win. <laughs> exactly. So, um, we all know how to play this game, I think. Do I know how to play this game? Maybe. We roll two dice, don't we? That's a good start. And for each roll, for each turn, we write, we draw the symbol in the row, and we, then we draw the other symbol in the other row, and we need to get, we, we score the symbols that are in groups together, um, and we score the points that are on the board. If we roll a double, we place a square anywhere we want, and when we hit a star turn, then we get to place one of anything anywhere. I think that's how it goes. I think I think I remember that correctly. If I'm if I'm wrong in that, or if I've if I've messed up something, let me know. But I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. So let's find some let's find some rolling village kind of dice. I'm I'm thinking like a village is a pretty. I mean, I would go with these kind of like boring brown affairs because that's pretty villagey to me. But I, we need something a bit more, a bit more pizzazz. A bit more zip to them. So I kind of like this regal purple. And what about a nice... Mm, no, I was trying to go for a bit of color wheel manipulation there, but I'm not, I'm not a massive fan. I think black and purple. Let's do that. Black and purple it is. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put this in the... I'm gonna put another sheet under here because it's, it's annoying me. I can see... Look, just just bear with me, okay? I need I need something to rest on. Normally I play this on a map, I think. That whenever I record it, I seem to play on a map. Right, so here we are. We've got two dice and it's turn one. So we're gonna roll both of them and see what happens. Five and a three, which means we put a lake on row five and we put a forest on row three. So if you ask me. Um, oh, I need some different pen. I need some different coloured pens, don't I? Um, wasn't there like three? There's like three different colours or something. Oh, bright orange. Yeah, that is a good idea. Ooh, look at that. It's very, uh, very collegiate. Um, so we'll go. Yeah, okay. We'll do orange. We'll do orange, purple, and black, and that'll be a good. That'll be a good little combo. Um, so, for... We'll draw a lake. It'll be purple, because that's the colour of lakes, usually. And a lake on row five will probably go somewhere like... Oh, wait, hang on. Is a lake in... No, it's a. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. It's a. It's in the. It's the total is the row and the dice face is the. Yeah, it's a lake on column five. Sorry, so it's a lake. No, it's a lake on column two, isn't it? Oh gosh, now I'm. Now I'm broken. <laughs> if if I'm still here, then come come find me. Now I need to go look at the rules again. <sighs> Bloody hell, hold on. <laughs> Mike, I know how to play. Everyone knows how to play this. Wait, no, that's not true. Where's the, uh, hold on, let's see. Uh, Rolling Village. Um, no, that's the logo. That is the game sheet. Oh, for goodness sake. All right, fine, I'm supposed to go flipping. Oh yeah, I did change the orange die, obviously. It was a five. So it's, for goodness sake, yeah, so it's a, it's a, and then, but then what are these numbers again? I can't remember.
I just need to I just need to go and look at the rules. Hold on. This is a ten minute roll and write, but we uh Yeah, about that. Ten minutes to find the rules and uh come on then. Rolling village rule sheet. There we go. Thanks, BGG. You rolled the orange from a five that you roll. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. Right, so if I... Okay, the example says if you roll a two and a four, you draw a house, which is a four, in column two, and a forest, which is a two, in column four. Yes. Oh, yeah, and then the, 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 the total is the row that you score it on. Okay, there we go. Right. Okay, we're back. We're back online. Sorry, that was a bit of a... Oh, we, Vasilko just said that. Yep. All right, cool. There we are. We're back. Right, so eight. We're going to score on this. Yes, that's correct. So we're going to score on this row. So we might as well put some stuff in here. Um, so I suppose if we put a forest in... If we put a forest in, uh, if we put a forest in column three, mm, I'll put it here, and then we'll put a lake, purple lake, in column five, and we'll just go here, and we'll score a point because we're scoring on row eight. Yes, okay, goodness gracious me. You don't score on first roll? Oh, for God's sake. Each player draws two projects, one for each column indicated by the dice in any row they wish. Oh, yeah. <sighs> for God's sake. All right, well, that's fine. Um, you, you know what? We're just going to keep with it. So now we've got a... Um, ignore this number one. And we've got a house in <laughs> column two. And we've got a forest in column four. So, I mean, obviously we'll put, a, we'll put a forest here in column four and we'll put a house in column two right here. Oh, this should be black because now I've confused myself. That is pretty good, yeah. That is pretty good. Well done. That's some, that's some, uh, that's some multitasking management, which I'm not capable of. I'm not capable of tasking, let alone multitasking. <laughs> I mean, I suppose, I guess I wouldn't mind making a dollar every eight minutes. I mean, it's not, it's not great hourly, but you know, I'm playing board games, it's okay. So now we're gonna score on row six because that's the total of these dice and it, we do indeed score one. So we're just, we're fine, it's okay. Now this is turn two and goodness gracious me, I'm already losing my mind. So we're going to be scoring on this row next, which is good because we've already got a lake there. Um, but it's also bad because we don't have anything else anywhere else. Um, although we do have this fetching forest to be drawn in column three. And if I draw a fetching forest right here, for example, because a forest is a five, I can draw it in column three. Stay with me now. And I can link it together and score four points. Anything linked will score anything that it touches. So now if I have another lake that I draw in column five, here, for example, um, I can link this lake somewhere else. Um, I could link it up, or I could link it down, and I suppose we'll go, we'll go up, because seven is more common than 10 or 11. Okay, every six minutes. Thank you, appreciate it. 10 bucks an hour. Done. Sold to the nearest bidder. Highest bidder? Whatever. Now we're scoring on row eight, and we're going to score two, four, five, and that is five points in turn two. Now, remember, we get a free space, and I think we put it in afterwards, correct? After the building phase, yes. All right, thank you, rules. Minus tax. 
Yeah, well, yeah, a minus YouTube tax, which is like flipping 30 or 40%. Good lord. Um, we're going to put a forest in column two, and we're going to put... Oh, we rolled a double, so that's a square. Um, when we roll a double... Hold your horses. When we roll a double... If the sum of the dice is 2 or 12, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, I knew that. Um... If you call blah blah blah, it's a blah blah blah, it's a do 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 do. What does it what does it say about the doubles? Hold on. I just want to check. <sighs> if the dice are the same face, draw only one project type in an empty space in the column. But in addition, draw a square. Okay, yeah, so you do draw both. So a square goes anywhere, and we draw a forest in column two somewhere. So I mean obviously we'll put the column here, because or column, we'll put the forest here. Um, because it'll link together nicely in column two. And then we'll put a square somewhere which is surrounded, correct, by things. Um, so I suppose probably either here or here would be a good bet. Um, let's go here for now, because I think if I can get a lake on one of these, I'll be I'll be doing all right. So that's gonna be our square, and I'm sticking to it. Then we get to build our bonus, which is lovely. Now we are scoring on column four for this round, so obviously we're not going to score any points if we put it here, but also we score, what, like 10 points? Uh, we score like 10 points for a square surround, I think. Is that correct? Yeah, 10 points. So I think I'm going to put a lake here. Uh, or do I score three? Do I score three points now, or a guaranteed ten points later? Is the question. I suppose a guaranteed ten points later is not the worst idea in the world. Guaranteed ten points later. I'm going to score zero on this turn, which is pretty bad. But um, we're going to have six points at the end of the round, and we're going to cross out this lake because we've used it. Yeah, seriously. Taxing us, well, I mean, if you're Veselka, they're taxing you while you sleep. Um, right, we've got turn four, and we're going to put a lake in column three. Oh, for gosh sake, I just, all right, fine, whatever. Um, and we're scoring on this row this time, so just remember that. A lake in column three, and a lake in column six. So, I suppose a lake should probably go here, in column six, and uh, this isn't great placement for a lake. I'm going to put it here, just in case. Um, and so, that will score us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points, and that feels a bit better than it was before. Eight points on turn four, and we'll carry on trucking. A double. Ooh, okay. Now we're getting spicy. We're going to be scoring on eight, which I don't mind at all. And we're going to be putting a house in column four. Oh, well, that's, that's brilliant. We can put a square here. Nice and easy. Yeah? And then we're going to put a house in column four right above it. What do we say is a win? 90? Oh gosh, I'm so far away. Um, that's going to be, so we're going to score an 8, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 again, 6, 7, 8 again, another 8 points, but we've got ourselves another, t we've got 20. Um, no, it's a, it's a square anywhere and a house on column 4. So you can put the, you can put the square anywhere, but house has got to go in the same column, yeah. Right. Last turn of uh, the second third of this game, whatever that means. And right, we've got a one and a two, so we we'll are be scoring on this row, which is interesting. We don't really have much going on here, but we've got a forest going in column one. That's not that good, but I'm going to put it here, I think. And then a house going in column two, which is also not brilliant. But I think I'm going to do... Forest will go here. 
forest in column one will go here, just score three points, why not? And their house can go here in column two. I mean, this doesn't really make sense down here, but if I go here, at least it'll score an extra point. So house in column two, and then we get to place something else somewhere else. And well, doesn't that sound dandy? Um, I don't really think I've got much else to do other than I can just score three extra points, can't I? If I just put a if I just throw a house here, three points, why not? Could be a could be the play. Um, I'm not gonna be able to like link anything or get any mondo points anywhere else on this turn per se. So yeah, if I put like if I put a forest here, if I get a square next in the next kind of three turns, I can put it here, get a house going here with my last one. I don't know. I'm just I'm just strategizing. You can't you can't help but try. Um, though I don't think we're gonna break ninety, said Veselko. Um, so we're scoring on uh, row three here. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. And we've crossed out this forest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. You know what I wish is that I think it'd be cool if squares also extended your um, like anything touching a square. You should score. Come on. Just let me just let me score the square, guys. Eight plus eight is sixteen. Plus nine is twenty-five. So we're on thirty-one. We need a pretty good flipping round to score 59 points in, I'm going to be honest. I don't know, I'm going to, I can't see it happening just yet, but let's see. That's a 9, which isn't bad. We've, we've got some stuff going on in row 9. Um, we need a forest in column 4. Hmm, that's not really very helpful. And a house in column 5, also not very helpful. Oh, that actually, well, we did say we we're going to put a house here anyway, so let's just put a house there for sure. Show and a forest, where was it? Column four. Is that what it said? Forest, column four, yeah. I mean, I guess I'm just going to stick it here. Mm. I suppose we could get really lucky and roll two doubles. Though, no, I've got two places to put village squares already. So, yeah, I'm just going to do this in case I roll a three or a four and then I'm going to get some extra points. I don't know. Um, so then across row nine, again, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and uh, it's okay. Can I have some more points, please? I don't know. Let's try and roll some. Four and a two. We've got a forest going in again in row four, um, which is, or sorry, column four, which isn't bad, is it? We can put it here. Well, it's the only place it can go. And we've got a house in column two, which is here, and that's trash. Um, quite frankly, there's nothing to do there at all. Um, but unfortunately, we've got no choice with the matter. Um, and then the total is six. So we're going to score one, nothing, two, three, four points. Mm, that's that's pretty bad. I don't think that's a good score there, per se. If I can get a double, it might make this game almost salvageable. Nope. It's a five and three, which means we're getting a forest... A forest in column three will get me an extra point, I suppose, so that's fine. It'd be nice if I could have linked all of these up, but not quite. And then we're going to get a lake in column five, uh, which won't do diddly squat, so that's a shame too. So, eight plus, uh, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, plus three is nine, another nine point round, which is a bit rubbish. Um, and then, you know, then we get to place our bonus project, which doesn't really do anything for us, unfortunately, because we don't have any more doubles or any squares. Uh, so, what are we drawing a house? I mean, uh, who doesn't want to look? This is a nice little island here we've we've uh, we've created, surrounded by lakes, and this is where my house goes right there. If you want to come in, you've got to get a boat because that's just the kind of person I am. Go on. There you go. That's my house. My house right there. Matt's got almost salvageable. <laughs> 
So 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 9 is 21. How have you scored less points on the third round than on the second round? We've got two completed squares, so that is plus 20. So that's 20 plus 21 plus 25 plus 6. Um... Yeah, I mean, pretty much. I, if I if I get onto like if I get myself onto a nice Whidbey Island, there's a few islands around here which are pretty good. Um, that's it. I just it, I'm gonna call it Board Game Island. No one's allowed on it but me. Forty five, sixty six plus six is seventy two, which does fall slightly short of the ninety points required for a win, as dictated by Lord Veselko, and thus. Unfortunately, for you, maybe not me, 10.05 is a big old L. <sighs> right. Rolling Village! Forbidden Island, yeah, that, oh, that is pretty, yeah, that's pretty good. I was going to say, that doesn't have dice in it, but then I realised what you're talking about. Okay, right, what's next? Let's see. We've got some nine circles, we could do that. We've got some, I've got this game called Reos y Truenos, which is Thunder and Lightning. I've never played this, but I think it would be fun um, because it looks fun. Or we could play some 30 rails. What have I got over here? That's more Rolling Village. Or we've got some more paper pinball, which could have indeed, of course, bring down my bring down the time requirements a little bit. Oh, here's what I want to play. Boom. This, the bacon. Oh, um, bacon sale. Hey, to be fair, I did pretty well on that game. I think I might have all them. I did okay on that game, but I mean, to be to be honest, it was only after. Keep smiling every time. Um. I think it was only after, like, everyone figured out how to actually win the game that we started, you know, that I, I got my score. And I think it was Brad who played it afterwards and was like, yeah, we'll just hack this to death. We'll just, ha we'll just hack this game to death. Bacon Sale, which does sound like Bacon Sale, which is a different game, I'm sure. I've got City Line, too. I think I already mentioned that one. Ooh, we've got Paleontologist as well. That's a bit more of a Tetromino game rather than... rather than dice. Yeah, it's pink. Keep smiling every time. What? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? I've got some Dur uh, Clow Heist. That's pretty dicey, actually. Oh, God, I've got Dungeons & Numera. We're not playing that. If I if I play Dungeons New Mayor, oh here it is. I do have a I thought I had a nine circles. So we've got a nine I've got a nine circles too, which is of course we could play I mean again this is a bit self-indulgent, isn't it? Yeah, here we are, Bacon Sale. Oh, we've got Lifeguard Rescue too. This is another entry from the uh 2020 PNP contest, which I actually quite liked. Hey, matches your purse. Get out of here. Get out of here with that masculine bullshit. I'll carry a purse and I'll, I'll love it. I like the lifeguard one. I thought it was quite fun. Here, yeah, I've got bacon sale. Do I have a, do I have a sheet? I do have a sheet. We could play bacon sale. Although I don't, I don't quite remember. I don't quite remember the, te the tactics. But I mean, there was a definite tactics, wasn't there? All right, here we go. We've got lots of, we've lots of, lots of games here. I'm going to play some Goblin Circus 2, um, because I haven't played that. I've, I've only just... I got a Laminator. I I, uh, I got a Laminator this this week. So I laminated some new... It only, okay, so it only came with two pouches, like of the plastic pouches. So I'm waiting for more to arrive. But I laminated my first... Oh, look at that. It's so good. I, so I laminated... This is a self-lamination. Obviously, the printing didn't quite go well, but that's fine. So anyway, I'm going to play Goblin Circus 2, because... Um, because that's good. But, uh, yeah, okay, so we're gonna play this. This is, um, this is Waterfront by my good friend Chris Kingsnorth, who just, like, I'm talking, like, literally today released the solo mode for this one-card game that he's been designing called Waterfront for the one-card 
BG contest. Um, on the flip side of this, well, if, if I print, if I had both sides, would be the, the multiplayer, but obviously I'm only, I don't care about that. So I, I backed it on this just giant piece, or a little piece of foam board, because why not? Anyway, this uh, we're going to play, because it, it's got dice, but it's not super rolly, so we should be able to win without rolling any dice, essentially. So, let's, uh, okay, I mean, I can get into this. We can do, we can do this. We want um, sourdough and baguettes, don't we? And we want, we want ciabatta, because we want to produce three different types of bread, if I'm remembering correctly. We also want to sourdough baguettes. We don't care about this. But uh, what's what's the good thing? I think it's I think it's baking network that gains you a it gains you a fame, which is oh no, you want business size? Yeah, okay, right, okay. I think I remember how to win this game. <laughs> Though, I mean, who knows? And what's the what's the uh, what's the win criteria here? What does he say? God, there's a lot of rules in this. Look, okay, there's flipping six pages. Um, I think it was like a hundred points that was based on the diff okay, so hard make it at least one sixty challenging make at least one eighty. You deleted that game from my brain drive. I'm not surprised. Oh hold on. there we go. Well, here it is, back again. We're gonna we're gonna give it a go. I don't think it takes too long. It's only a few. It's only. Well, we'll just speed through it. I don't know. What's a bakery color? I suppose they want. Oh, he wants black and white, doesn't he? Because they're. Oh, we use these nice. Look, I got these. I I just um, I just got dice miner fulfilled. So we've got these nice, wheaty beers that we can use for the white dice and some nice black dice. Yeah, exactly. We were. We we scored at least uh, like if you didn't score two hundred, like, like you were basically shunned from the solo showdown group, right? Because like we'd all figured out what the actual formula was to win the best. Um, yeah. So do we roll all of these? Oh gosh, I don't know if I want to relearn this game. It. it... All site. Yeah. Okay. Using the shared dice pool, all players simultaneously play. Each day, you've got a limited amount of time. Different actions cost a different amount of hourglasses. All six dice are ruled once. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, let's just play, I don't know. So, so we can get two high glutens and one all-purpose flour from that. And then we can get eggs, butter, and olive oil from that. We don't really care about eggs and butter, do we? So, if we go to the bakery, we go to like the store, Oh gosh, what do we do? Oh, two things. Oh god, I don't know if I want to relearn this game, I'll be honest. It's too complicated with little payoff. Hold on. <laughs> Baking network spent. The supplies market. <laughs> Give me a pass. <laughs> Just put it in the bag. Oh, that's right. So you have to. The supplies market is the amount of time times your business size. Uh, I'm gonna. Sp oh, no, I'm gonna score really badly if I try to play. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, Chrissy hates Rolling Village. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna play this though. This is fun and easy. I think it's only one page rules. Let's see. Roll two dice and add the results. Simple. I could do that. If you're not happy with your total, then you may re-roll only once, but you must keep whatever you get in this attempt. It represents the number of resource points you have to play with. Make a note with it in the resource box on the player sheet. Then you need to allocate all your resource points to a variety of different lifeguard aids, stocking up for the challenging day ahead. Rescue boards cost one. 
Have I got a Sharpie? No. Jet skis cost two, boats cost three, lovely jubbly. You can only have a maximum of four each, that's reasonable. Mark a line through each reasonable resource tracker. Each of the resources can be used to manipulate your dice. This could plus or minus one. Oops. This can flip, flippy flip symbol, and boats allow you to re-roll. Now you need to determine where struggling surfers will arise. All right, so let's get our... Chrissy doesn't like good games. Wow, you're, uh, you're lucky she's in Hawaii. She's probably... swim. She might be swimming with sharks right now, in fact. Um, oh, she's doing something. I mean, something cool. You're lucky. She'd tear you apart for that. Right, we've got six resource points, and I suppose I'm happy with that. Um, you can re-roll only once, but more than six? No, I think I can get more than six. Let's see. Nine! Lovely. Resource points, nine. So if we buy, say, like... Um, I say, like, three of these. One, two, three, four, five, six... Um, one, two of those. Two plus... F yeah, okay, let's do two of these. Um, one and two, and then one of these. That means one, two, three, four... Uh, two of these, five, six, and th one of those, that's nine points. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, we've got two of two and one. Yeah, the, the, I mean, I, I quite... I suppose it's, like, relatively quick, so I don't mind it too much. But I did... I mean, obviously, I did hate seeing Vaselko and Brad score, like, a thousand points on the game, where I was like, oh, that seems un unnatural and unfair. But, you know, they, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, my dice don't work like that. Right, so um, roll both dice. Um, we can choose whatever. So six and a one. So this will go down, like, right. I think it is it in the mark wherever the lines... Yeah, okay. So then one swimmer goes here, yeah. Help. Oh, he's got very big arms for some reason. Um, okay, that's whatever. Two and a three, um, they will put him here. Help me, um, I'm swimming, and I'm, I can't get up. How many do we do? Five. Five and a four, uh, don't mind this. Oh, he's near a shark though, that could be dangerous. That was my one that was my one piece of feedback for this game is like, oh you should do something with a shark. Like literally there's a shark on the there's a shark on the map. Like do something with a shark. But I don't think he ever did. Uh, I mean it's fine. You don't have to do something. You don't have to follow my advice. I'm you know, I'm not the king of board games. But if you've got a shark on the map, I mean the the, the mechanic is screaming screaming out, isn't it? The th the theme is screaming out for a shark. One, two, three, four. Another six and a one, so this one's going to have to go up here. Yeah, the mechanic's screaming out for a shark. I mean, who doesn't love a good shark on Baywatch or whatever? He does look a bit like a Scooby-Doo ghost swimmer, that is true. Um, right, so... So basically, we, we, we surf or jet ski or boat from one... Uh, line, or from this shore to this shore, essentially across the bay. Yeah, definitely a shark expansion should have, it should have been the thing. Each surfer is worth three points. If you save multiple surfers in the turn, that turn is doubled. If you can't save any surfers with your initial roll, you have to use your resources, blah blah blah. Um, if you can't, if you use all your resources and can't save anyone, then the game is over. You gain, you win the game by saving all the struggling surfers. As a bonus for saving everyone, any leftover resources will be added to your total score using the value they're worth in resources. Um, oh, le yeah, let's add a couple more servers in because I think this was quite easy. So let's do let's do very hard for seven. Um, so five and a four. Um, oh, we've already got that. So four and a five. He's got massive arms. So just I don't know. And then I uh, will do one more. It was another five and a four, um, which I think we have to re-roll for. Yeah, we have to re-roll for that. 
It's a five and a three. So all these all these guys are gonna get saved pretty pretty easily, I think. Five and three right here. Like if I roll a double five, we've got four sur surfers in one, and that's pretty decent. Right, so here we go. Game begin. Game status set. These are our surfers. Yeah, that yeah, exactly. That's some long. He's maybe he's holding a basketball. Put the basketball down, mate. You're drowning. I can't. I've got. I've got to bring the, bring the. I don't know. Basketball joke. Sorry. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not well versed. Right. Five and a four. That's pretty decent because we can save at least a couple of people with that, can't we? So we could save uh, this one, this one, or this one and this one. I thought. I thought there should be. I don't know where you're supposed to. I thought there was a place to make note of your score, but there you go. Um, I'll just put write it on the beach. So. Um, five plus four, or no, not five plus four, but one, two, each surface is worth three, so that's six points, isn't it? Because um, we go up to five and across to four, that's... I'll just put a little check above their head. Ding! That's the noise they make when they get saved. Ding, ding! So we've got six points for that one. I'll just write a six here. Six and a two. Uh, don't mind that. We can go here and here. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Ding! Another one, six points there. I mean, it's pretty easy, isn't it? One and a six, one and a six. I'm gonna, I'm gonna absolutely, I'm gonna max this bad boy out. Six and a five. Come on, guys, we've we've saved everyone so quickly. I should have gone Hoff mode. Hoff mode, I think, was like seven plus. Yeah. Anyway, so I think that's I think that's it. Is that the game? <laughs> we just <laughs> I mean this is ten minutes extra, but uh, oh wait, hang on. I needed to Oh no I did I minus I mi I minus ten ten oh five. Um but we, we're gonna win this game, I think. I mean you would think so. I don't know what the win condition is actually, but I mean I'm gonna call this a win because we didn't have to use any resources. Alright, okay, this game needs a bit of work, but that's fine. It's 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 fine. 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 We're gonna we're gonna score eighteen plus three is twenty one plus one two well plus nine. So twenty one plus nine is a score of thirty, and I think that's I'll call it a win because I mean, come on, it's got to be a win, hasn't it? Ten back up to ten fifteen. Right. I know nine circles is out, but we got. To, yeah, you got to have a got to have a nice easy one. That was easy to easy to easy to learn, easy to play, easy to win. I don't mind. This one. This is where we're going next. Goblin Circus. Right. Never played this one before, so let's just figure it out. We've got some goblins, and we've got a circus. Simple enough so far. Um. I hear you say, but it's not that simple because, well, that might be. Let's play with a nice, I think this purple will match this goblin's tunic and I don't mind it. So if we get multiple, those are gonna be my multiple colors. Am I on screen? Maybe. Let's see if I can just do a bit of this. A bit, we'll just close in the dice, just a little bit. I like this, I like this nice, nice little dice border. It's, it's, it's fetching. Right, there we are. So here we go again. Goblin Circus it is, Paper Pinball. Now, the, oh yeah, I do like those. Yeah, okay, fine. They're a bit small, but I think they'll do the trick, won't they? Um, let me see what the score is for this. Go Pinball! Um, cancel. So, Sir Thekos is the only person who's played this, and 262 is his, is his best score. So I think if we can beat his best score, then that counts as a win. Um, so 262 is the score that we're aiming for, and that's what we'll uh, that's what we'll, that's what we'll stick with. Yeah, definitely more more like goblins. That's true. <laughs> Richard's like uh, it's 11:40, and uh, <laughs> I'd really like to go to bed, please. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so here we go. We can mark one of these magnets, that's one, two, three, four, five times to ignore a roll. Bumpers, ramps, they're the same. Multi-ball, we can get multi-multi-ball, which is brilliant. You can choose the sum of all three dice 
if we got multi-ball. So that's pretty good. And if we get all of this entire ramp and land in the jackpot once we fired our goblin into the basket, then we get to roll all three dice and add the total, which could or could could be bad or could be good. I'm not sure. Now, given that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there's nine ramps, which really means that you've got very little, like if I put a five in here, I'd have to get six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We we wouldn't have enough unless we got multi multi ball to uh, to keep going, which leads me to believe that I shouldn't put a five in here. Now that said, do I want to put a one in here? Probably not. The sun rises. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, but if I put a five in here and then do try to get multi multi ball, then I won't regret it. Maybe. I suppose the jackpot can come at the very end. It doesn't really matter, does it? Let's do it. I mean, I don't know. What's the worst that can happen? I guess I lose a game and we we only stream until you know nine forty five. Um, where's my where'd my pen go? Here right, so we're going with a five straight in, and I don't know if this is a good idea, but we're just going to keep, we're just going to keep going. Well, if he thinks the stream's tomorrow, then maybe he's right. We've got a seven, which I will check off um, this one. This one looks more likely to me than this one, because I need to get a four here, which is less ways to get than a six. Is that correct? Now I'm now I'm questioning that logic, but I've got a double, so that's nice. Um, and we'll get that four. Twos and twelves get us double to bumpers, doubles to ramps. That's a ten, so we'll take that. I mean, multi ball should be pretty quick. We've only got we've only got to get. Oh, that's rubbish. Um, <laughs> um, do we do we mark that off, or do we write it in a bumper? Hmm. I'm gonna mark it off just for now, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, next time I'm gonna be a bit more. Oh, I've got to keep the edges white, haven't I? Um, I'm gonna mark it off for now, but I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna keep in mind that I'm not gonna be that aggressive about it next time, probably. Look at that, it's nice coloring, right in the lines there. Right, so I only need a six, and I've got myself my first multi ball. Um, oh, now I need a six or an eight, and I've got my first multi ball. So that's pretty good. Oh, I should have put a six here though. Well, that's fine. Multi ball is more important. Multi ball dictates the rest of the game, pretty much, doesn't it? Um, we'll put a nine in here. Mm, no, we'll put a nine. Sorry, we'll put a nine in here because I don't mind nines. And if I get nine, another nine, then I can put it in here. Um, I don't know if that was a. I don't know if that made any sense at all. Eight. We've got ourselves a multi ball. Lovely stuff. See, that's pretty good. We are less yeah, we are less likely to roll a four. Here's a four. We're definitely less likely to roll a six, aren't we? Super multi ball. Hello. Alright, that's that's fine. Um we can't you can't win them all. So we either we fill in a nine here in here, we fill in an eight in here, or no, a seven in here. I think a seven in here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, two. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But then if we start, if we get a super multi-ball, which shouldn't be too far away, we could start putting in massive numbers. Well, numbers up to 18 at least. Um, yeah, okay, I'm okay with this. Because this is what? This is, this is 12 all by itself. Mm, yeah. Yeah, okay, let's... Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Seven's going in here. I know that it that might be not a good idea, but that just just will bear with me. We still have a six, but we do have an eight, so we'll go with an eight on here. Yeah, yeah. I think an eight in there is good. And if we can have a six, that would be brilliant. Oh my goodness, triple five. Uh, well then. 
if I put a 10 in here, 10, we've already skipped too many numbers. 10, 11, 12, this would have to be 13, 14, 15, or th we'd have, still have five degrees of freedom for the total. I'm a bit nervous about throwing a 10 in here though. Although it's not, it's not like it's massive, it's a massive jump, it's only one. 10, so one, two, three, four, five. So we'd still have three degrees of freedom. I might have just ruined this, but I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> okay, this is ridiculous. Um, let's let's check off this multi-ball here, or not multi-ball, uh, times two to ramps. I'm hoping that my ramp's gonna be quite big, so we'll keep going on that premise alone. We've got a four to two, that's a six. Super multi-ball. Oh, you love to see that. Right, we've got now, we can add everything together. So this becomes a either a six, a nine, a five, or a 10, which I suppose, obviously I can't use it here, but I'll put in this and feel pretty decent about it. Oh, I should say active, active. Um, I can't. If you activate multiple, one multiple is only active. Yeah, so I can't lose this twice. I can only. Oh, I can I can lose super multiball and then lose multiball. I think I can. So maybe I've got two chances to lose. I've got kind of like two chances to lose multiball. I can lose super multiball and then I can lose multiball. I think that's how this this the rules should work. Wow, that's a lot. Um, that's eleven fourteen. Which, I mean, I'm pretty okay with just throwing in... Oh no, I should use the 11. Obviously I should use the 11. Um, come on. Think about it. Think about it. Ooh, that's not very good. Uh, what's that? Three, four, five, six. Uh, okay, well that's gonna have to go in here. So that's less good, but we'll take it. Maybe I could have re-rolled it, but... It's uh, less than... Whatever, it's fine. Um, that's 11. Uh, we've got another double, which is cool and all, but it's not getting as many places. 11 will go here. I love Super Multiball. This is fun. Wow. Uh, 6 plus 5 is 11, plus 4 is 15. That's quite a high number. Um, that's quite a high number. So this would have to be 15... 16, 17, 18, it would literally have to be the, that's the very highest. Yeah, I don't think we can risk that. We'll put 15 in the bumper. And now I'm wishing that I got, tried to get double two to bumpers. Five, six, seven, eight, that's another 11, which is not very good. Um, or at least it's not the best. We'll put this in here. Remember, we've still got four magnets, so we could, theoretically, all right, this is 14. <laughs> we keep rolling 11s, which is odd. Um, I've put 14 in here, 14, 15, 16, 17. Then we've got literally one degree of freedom, which is less than I would like. But then if I put it in here, I don't have anywhere else to write other things. <laughs> so I just have to keep rolling until I get a massive roll again and just keep checking off magnets essentially. 14, 15, 16, 17. 14. I mean, the chances of me rolling three sixes are quite low, let's be honest. Uh, I'm gonna put it in here. I don't know if this is a good idea. Now I'm like searching for like a double one <laughs> to put to get this. Um, I, this is not a double one. This is four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna have to check off a magnet for that. Yeah, I'm not sure if I've made the right choice. Um, ignore a roll and re-roll any or all of the dice. Maybe, oh, I should have, well, I can't remember what the dice face were, so. Oh, here we go. Uh, that's 12. Ooh, do I go? Is it worth getting, all right. Is it worth getting double to bumpers over jackpot because jackpot right you roll three dice so the maximum you're going to get is 
18 unless you get well no the maximum you're going to get is 15 unless because if you get doubles then you double them so say if you get a double six that'd be 12 plus 30 something points okay i mean it could be quite big but to be fair double to bumpers is also quite big because i've already got 15 14 10 11 i've got 20 35 45 this would be close to an extra 70, 80 points. I am assuming I'm going to get a two. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, <I'm probably> <laughs> that's reasonable. I appreciate the reality check. If I'd have got a two, then I would have been upset. Um, right, so that's one, two, three. That's six. Um... All right, fine. We'll check off another magnet, I think. And then soon we're going to start rolling. We're going to start losing balls. Yeah, bird in the hand. I suppose that's true, yeah. It's a ball move, Cotton. <laughs> no! Oh, wait! Yes! 12. <laughs> no! Oh, wait! What's that, even? Is that 13? Yes, it is! <laughs> it's funny that it takes me like just a bit of time to add so I'm like that looks good and then it takes me like about two seconds just to process whether it is good or not <laughs> well I'm excited if we can get to the jackpot then I'll feel like we've done all right wow wow that's unfortunate <laughs> do we really want to yeah I mean there's no choice is there we're gonna have to scr scratch out a magnet for that Yeah, that's frustrating. It's funny because on all the other paper pinballs, you have to get doubles. And here it doesn't, they just don't, they don't matter at all. Um, which is kind of fascinating. Or not fascinating, but it's just like, oh yeah. It just like, I'm like, oh, double six, that's amazing. And then you're like, oh wait, no, it's not. It's rubbish. Or it's just not helpful. I need a 14. Awesome twos. A 15 even would probably be okay. I'd probably take 15 as well, to be honest. Ooh. Uh, that's close, but no cigar. Um, in fact, no cigar whatsoever. All right, that's our last magnet, which... Well, you know what's going to happen now. All these are in jeopardy. Oh, actually, hang on. Instead of losing a ball, I can lose multi-ball, which, or I can lose super multi-ball and then lose multi-ball. Oh no, I cannot lose super multi-ball. I cannot lose super multi-ball because I need super multi-ball to get to 14. So, in fact, <laughs> oh no, I feel like this is maybe where the wheels fall off. Right, we've got, <laughs> we've got, we've got 11 and we still need super multi-ball, so we're gonna have to lose this, which is 50 points. <laughs> Well, I mean, could be 50 points if I roll two twos. So I guess, I suppose, bold. Oh, he's got a two! Yes! Right, so what do we do here? Let's suggest that this is going to be 14, 15. What's 14 plus 15 is 29, plus 13 is 39, 42, 44, 54, 55, 75, 75, 75, 90, 100. So I've, this will be 100 points. If I manage to fill it. This is 20, 35, 45, 55, 75, 81. So ramps is better. Theoretically. <laughs> Purely on a... And the crowd goes wild. The goblins are freaking out. The goblins are losing it. <gasps> is that... It's 14! Oh, God, yeah! Come on, then. Give me a 15. Come on. Triple fives. No. Absolutely not. Not at all triple fives. It's... It's... No. It's another 50 points down the drain. Please let me get the jackpot. I just want the jackpot. I just want to land my goblin in this little bucket of what looks to be hay. I don't know. <laughs> come on, please. No, come on, I know you're not going to do this. You can't, you can't do it. Not now.
<laughs> Not after everything we've been through. <laughs> it's the last roll. It's the last roll. Okay. Okay. It's simple. All we need is 15, 16, 17, 18, or a 2. No, I should say, actually, let me take that back. Or a double 1. Okay. Oh, man, these goblin dice, they feel good. <laughs> They're feeling really good. No. No, it's a 10. It's a 10. He didn't make it. He fell. He fell so short. He fell so short right at the last minute. Oh, no. Right at the last minute. He just... He couldn't... He couldn't do it. It was devastation. And he just... He just flies out the cannon, out of the circus, just misses the... Misses the... Misses the hay basket. And... <laughs> you know what? That's what he signed up for. He probably got hit by one of these flying knives. I mean, it's just a mess. It's a mess. We need... We need a janitor on aisle five of the ring. Doesn't make any sense. Janitor to the big top. We, we've, we've had a we've had a goblin related accident. Oh man, it was so close. It came down to the last roll, and that's I guess that's all you can ask. That's all you can ask for. <laughs> oh, so close. All right. Well, you know what? Actually, to be fair, let's see. We could. We might have still won. I don't know. Goblin Circus. We were aiming for two sixty two. I think we might have won. Still. 262 is the goal. Let's see what we get. Bumpers. I know we already added these up just now, but I'm going to do it again because I forgot. 20, 30, 41. 41 plus 9 is 50. 60, 76 on the bumpers. Ramps is 27, 29, 39, 40, 50, 60, 75, 80 plus, wait, times 2 is 160. Targets, 5, 10, 15, plus 10 is 25. 5, 10, 15, plus 10 is 25, so that's 50, 5, 60, 70, 75 targets. And zero for the jackpot. Zero for the extra points. Oh, I'm so devastated by this. I'm so devastated. Uh, 151 plus 160 is uh, 300 and something. Wait, what did I just say? 151 plus 160, is that 311? Did I do the math right? 150, yeah. Well, 311, that's, that's a, isn't that, a, is that a band? I'm not cool enough to know if that's a band. That's a, that's a band, isn't it? 311? That, that's a high score. You use the calculator, that's fair. It's a high score. It's a high score. That's all you can ask for. Oh man, this would have been beautiful. It would have been an absolutely gorgeous display. 3-11, okay, fair enough. Between 3 and 11. <clears throat> Hang on, I gotta put this on the disc I gotta put this on the high score list. Sorry. Sorry, Sothekos, you've been moved down. I mean, you know, I've got to, I just, you know, when you've got to have that immediate gratification. <laughs> oh, what's the date? It's the third. Ah, oh, lovely. Ah, oh, it feels good. It just feels nice to just slip to the top of the leaderboard. Oh, you know what? I, that's a, that's a victory there. That's a victory. And we'll take it. We'll take it. <sighs> All right. No que Yeah, exactly. No questions asked. I did it on camera. Easy peasy. Lovely stuff. Oh, gosh. Right, I am getting a bit tired. Let's see what we've got next. Um, we've got... Oh, yeah. We're going to play, we're gonna play uh, Waterfront. 
I'm gonna play Waterfront. I think I'll win this probably as well, so we might be up to 10.30, but we'll see. Um, yeah, let's play Waterfront. Oh, man, I think I've got glue on it. I think I've got glue on my... It's fine, it's fine. I'm, uh, what I'd like to do, I think, is I'll put it on like a nice piece of like wood. God, no, no, I have to go. Whew. So I'll put it on like a nice piece of wood and like, yeah, make it look like a waterfront. I don't know. Yeah, I've got a hang on. I've got a. I've got. I need a. I need a drink. Hold on. I've only. I haven't. I've only drank like half a, a ha. It's getting a bit watered down too because of the eyes. All right, it's time for. Uh, it's time to replenish the fluids, and uh, and that means. I, I did this on purpose, by the way. That was an aha. Now we're onto bubbly. So if anyone's got both in that bingo sheet, then now you've got double the chance to win. How's no one won bingo? Maddie, we need to look at the arrangement of these bingo sheets. How's no one won bingo in two hours already? <sighs> All right. And these are really good, by the way. Coconut, if you can find it, I've never seen this flavor before, but if you can find it, coconut pineapple, highly recommended. You weren't playing. Well, fine, that, that's reasonable. All right, can't wait if you don't play. So that is that makes a lot of sense. Right, we're playing. I've got a hair. Get rid of this piece of paper. We don't need it anymore. <clears throat> right, this is a weird one. Well, it's not weird, but it's interesting because there aren't any. There's not very much rolling. Where did my pen lid go? Here it is. So, <clears throat> the goal of this game is to build towers surrounding this lake in the center here. Um, I guess I, I think I mentioned. Oh yeah, I already I already said this is like a. It's a. This is a. Um, entry into the single card, BGG contest, um, which is definitely worth a look. I haven't, I haven't played, I don't think I've, I've, I've only played a few one card games before. Um, but essentially, um, this is Chris King's North and it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty smart. I'm impressed by it, I should say. I like it. Um, and this is the solo mode, which this is undoubtedly the first time that it's been on camera. And so this is a world exclusive. Let me pull up the rules so I know what I'm doing. Uh, just in case, I've played it. I played it a couple times this afternoon, but I'm gonna, you know, you gotta. I might as well have it up. Just it, you know. Oh, I need a token. I need a a, uh, a cubes. Hold on. Oh, I forgot that they were they were. Uh, I forgot I need cubes of the same color. So let me choose my dice more wisely. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'll be I'll you know what I'll be green because green is nice, and um. Oh, I like that purple color. This will be my, these will be my red dice here. You know what? I'm going to be red. I'm going to be red. S screw you guys. Yeah, okay, there we go. Right, so we're trying to build uh, things. Yes, buildings, in fact, as you might imagine. On, um, on, I need another one. There's one. Where's my other green one? There it is. So we're trying to build dice on this uh, waterfront property here. We are going to play as this kind of maroony color. The AI is going to be green, and we're going to start our cubes on this development track right there. Once we roll our building dice in the building phase, we get to place the dice down and take an action based on where we are on the development track. The AI is going to do very similar. And then this orange dice is going to be our disruption dice. Essentially, you kind of think of it like construction is happening there or something like that. So you can't you can't build there while the dice is on that square. You see there's only eight squares, so you imagine it gets pretty crowded so uh, quite quickly. And we've got six dice each on which to create our towers. We can't stack dice on the other person's tower. We can't um, stack dice on towers that are all, like, the thing is too high. What? Let me Let me rephrase. If this says one, we can put anything above it. We're not a red one. I just said that. We can put anything above it. 
I could stack a five on top of this and then a six on top of this. But I couldn't, if I put a six here, then go ahead and put a five on top of that. So you have to go in ascending order from, from ground floor to top. That makes sense. You score for how high your buildings are and how much area you cover um, in your various groups of buildings. So for example, if I had two buildings like this, I wouldn't score anything for the height because they're only one high, but I would score for having an adjacent pair. Um, similarly, like this, I would score nothing for their height, but I would score twice for these groups. Something like this obviously would score me more points because I'm scoring more for higher buildings. Something like this would be even better. Something like this, oh my gosh, one through six, for example, would be even better, but less likely, as you might imagine. So in the, let me just check the, uh, I don't know, pink, oh yeah, I probably should, well, the thing is I don't have a pink cube. I, I you, need a, you need a matching, you need a cube of matching color, and I don't think I have a pink cube, which I should remedy. I mean, I play with pink dice all the time. We're building around Central Park. I think it's, well, it's water, it's water. So you're playing, you're, you're, you're building around, I, I'm kind of sensing like a Miami Vice kind of vibe. Because yeah, I mean, he does on the rules, it is, a, it is pink. I mean, I suppose I could still play with pink dice, it would be okay. Look, okay, we're gonna do, we'll do purple. You know, I'm happy to take, uh, if nothing else, I'm happy to take suggestions anytime. Yes, yeah, so we're building around a lake. I mean, I, I kind of like, I kind of get like a, I get like a Miami Vice vibe from it, but obviously I don't think you're building around a lake on Miami, I think you're building around a shoreline. So we could go with like Coeur d'Alene, that's a big lake, and lots of nice waterfront properties there. So we're building around Coeur d'Alene. Although, yeah, I mean, Coeur d'Alene's all right. It's nice. It's nice enough. Idaho as a whole, pretty okay. Lovely scenery. And to be fair, the people that I've run into there have been quite nice too. Yes, yeah, so we're building around a lake. Here we go. So, um, six, six, six purple dice represented by this red cube. Don't ask me questions. And six green dice represented by this green dice because that makes sense. So here we go. Let me, uh, I'm gonna pull the rules up separately from my stream so I can actually see that it's still working and that will help. Like I said, I have, I promise I have played this before um, but it just helps to have the rules up because I've only played it a couple of times. So, on our turn, we develop and then we build. So develop means we move along the development track, either one or two spaces, depending on what we want to do. Now, for us to start, we probably want only want to go one because it gives us this opportunity to re-roll our building dice should we desire to. So we'll go one space and, uh, and sit right there. Then we're going to take two of our dice and roll them in order to start building. Now, we can only place one at a time. Um, Oh, wow, that is an awful way to start, but that's okay. <laughs> this basically caps our building off at, um, at, at, at this level. However, we did land on the re-roll, so I think that's what we'll do. <laughs> um, I think we can re-roll both of them, I think. One or both, yeah, okay. All right, that's a bit better. So we're not going to place this six. We'll place this three, and let's place it right here in the middle. The, yeah, I know, right? Um, the the perfect the perfect dice roll, <laughs> double six. We cannot place on these spaces with these conservation symbols on until we get a conservation permit, and that only happens on this development square here. Um, for the AI, it happens for them down here. So this is our development track, and this is theirs at the bottom. So we've 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 developed, we've built, and it becomes the AI's turn. Lovely. On the the AI's turn, um, which I should say, uh, Chris is sourcing um, punny names for the opposing building company. So if you can think of anything, let him know in the uh, in the BGG thread because I'm sure he'd I'm sure he'd welcome your your examples. So um, we're gonna roll two of his dice, um, this AI company's dice, and we're gonna move here the cube. Um, well, one of them is gonna move the cube along. Um, whatever the face is, and the second one is going to be built. So let's just see how it goes. Right, so we can use four or one. Now, if we moved in one, 
he would uh, essentially sit atop us, and that would mean that we couldn't move next time. So we don't really want that. So we'll move them four and just see what happens. One, two, three, four. Now he's, they've moved on to this uh, development space. E, or sorry, not development space. The, uh, the D stands for disruption. Yes, disruption. There we go. So, dis right, sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to, uh, I didn't mean to encourage puns per se, but, you know, there we go. Um, so we've got, uh, we're onto this disruption space, which essentially, if the disruption dice is already here, manipulates it. If it's not, then we place it. And so we have to place it um, anywhere we can choose. Um, and I suppose for us, it doesn't really matter at the moment. The disruption dice essentially um, makes it more difficult to roll and build, or to, to build on either the column or the row which the disruption dice occupies. So, for example, like if I put it here, it's not really, it's not really hurting our dice over here, although it would. And disable us from placing something extra. So I might put it in this corner. Kind of stop them from building. I don't know. We'll place it here and just see what happens. So that was their four. So this is going to go back there. And then they've got this one to build. And we can build... They will build um, somewhere... Which, again, cannot be now in this row or column. Actually, you know, maybe I'll put the four here and put their one here. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Are you here? Can I get to the conservation? No, I can't. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll go here and put theirs. Oh gosh, now I'm, now I'm stuck. I think here. <laughs> yes, here will do. So we've placed, their, we've placed their building down. The disruption dice is here. So the reason they couldn't place it here is because it doesn't add up to more than four, obviously. So like this adds four, basically, to the row and column that you have to place. So they couldn't place a one here. They could place a five or a six. Um, or four, I should, I should say. Um, but they can place a one down here, and that is their turn. So we're going to roll... Uh, we're going to move our, our thing, our, you know, whatnot, um, either one or two. Now the... D gives us the chance to move the disruption dice, and the B, um, this is like affecting the building, we are able to flip this dice, um, or flip any dice, I should say, the top floor of any dice, to any side, or no, to its opposite side, sorry. Brick and Morty. <laughs> so, for example, like we, can, so if we did that, which I think we will, um, we can flip theirs to a six, and then they can't build on it. And I think that's probably pretty good because they won't score any points for its height. So yeah, that's what we'll do. And then we did we already roll these? I forget. No, I don't think we did. And um, we'll roll them. And we've got a five or a three, and we can put a five on top of here, or we could place another three somewhere else. Now, um, to be fair, I don't mind it. I could place also a five here and kind of start two separate groups. You score points for individual groups too. So, like, for example, a group of two is only worth two points, but a, two groups of one is actually worth six points. So it's probably better to do that. Oh no, is it stuck? Oh, sorry. Stuck? All right. How's this? Is that better? I think that means my camera's running out of battery, which is, this, which is another... We're good, yeah. Which is another eventuality that I had thought of, is that I might need to charge my camera at some point. So... I mean, just who knows? If, if, the, if the stream suddenly goes blank, then, uh, <laughs> then 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 we know what's gone on, right? So we we've, we've got we've got a building here that's lovely, and we can place it because it is more than a four. So this comes back to us, and then for them, drain the battery to limit the stream exactly. Is it frozen again? 
think it's back. Oh, it's back for me at least, Richard. Do you want to? Do you want to ref? Do you want to? Uh, can you refresh and see if it works? We're good. Okay. They've got a four and a four, so they are going to move four spaces. That's one, two, three, four, and they are going to move the dice. So they are going to move the disruption dice. Um, no longer Elsa. Love it. Good one. They're going to move the disruption dice um, clockwise and up. So they're going to do. They're going to move it clockwise by one space. So that moves it onto here, and they're going to move it up by two. So they make it harder to build on this row and column, which is pretty tough actually. But that's okay. Um, that was one of them, and then their other one is going to be built somewhere else. Um, we can choose. So. So on these, I should say, on these Ds, on these D, 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 D down here, I don't know if you, hopefully you can see it. If not, maybe I can zoom in a bit more. Sorry, hold on. I mean, I mean, we're playing a one card game, so you don't really need to see the rest of the table. So, here we go. So D, D, D on these first, third, and fifth spaces on their track are the disruption dice. The Bs are buildings, so they essentially are able to play, it tells you where to place the building. Um, but, they're going to place a four and we get to choose where they're going to build. So, uh, let's think. It, they don't have anywhere to build. Um, if they can't build, then I think they get just get rid of the cube. Because they can't build here, because it's not six. They can't build here, because they don't have a conservation. And they can't build here, because it's not six. So in fact, they are screwed. Now, we might be screwed too, because our development... Our dev well, ne no, next time we'll have a conservation, so we're okay. All right, never mind. Uh, carry on. Yeah, they're done. So this is bad. They're off. Uh, no no building for them this turn, which is good. I think we're going to win this game. Well, I mean, that's a bit early, but, you know, I'm, I'm quite the confident. We can develop, and we can either develop again one or two. Now, it would be nice to move the disruption dice, that is true, but it will be also nice to put a building down here. So we'll do that, um, and... We'll get our conservation so we can place it on this space there. Ooh, or we could place a six on here though. Ah, now I'm a bit, now I'm a bit, now I'm a bit torn because if we don't roll another six, it's going to be rubbish to score zero points for this building in terms of its height. But we're never going to have the chance to get another conservation in this game. So I think I'll place this, and then it would be best to place this. And then, uh, and then we'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, that's okay. Right, they're going to roll one good turn. I think we're going to win. <laughs> All right. You know what? Don't <laughs> humor me here. Um, right, we don't want them to go one, two, because they'd land on top of us, and then we don't get to develop. So I'll do one, two, three for them to land on conservation, because they don't, they don't have any way to build on conservation anyway. Then they're going to place this two, and again, I don't think they can build anywhere. They can't. There's no way for them to build. Wow, we really have just absolutely scuppered them with that disruption dice, and with our play down here, with their six, we flipped them over to a six, which absolutely scuppered them. They cannot, they cannot place it anywhere. So if, again, I think if they're not able to build, then they must just get rid of it. That's, I think that's what happens... Because that's what happens if they can't... Um, hold on, I'm just reading through. Yeah, like if they... Yeah, yeah, lovely. Lovely stuff. Brilliant. Fantastic, in fact. Right, this red, and we could go here... Um, and manage the disruption dice, which might not be a bad idea actually, because we not we're going to be able not to we're not going to be able to build yet as well. Um, if we don't, let me hold on. Let me just double check. 
can you place the building down? You must place the building. You must. Yeah, if you cannot place the building down, you must discard it from the game. Yeah, gotcha. Um, okay, so I think we might actually want to do this disruption because it is going to get in the way. Unless we roll a six, like we're totally screwed. Um, and we're going to end up with like a big block of like spread out one story buildings, which I don't think is a good idea. So, well, it's not, it, it actually will score okay, but it's not going to be brilliant. Um, so, we can either remove it, we can roll it and place it back onto the same square, or we can move it anywhere else adjacent, which means that we could like move it here and then plan to build here. Uh, it'll give us a group of four, but that's not. Again, with the scoring as it is, I don't think it's going to be the best thing to do. You only get five points for a group of four, whereas you get you get three points for a group of one and two points for a group of two. So I'm still better off trying to increase the height rather than make it into a group of four. So, with that said, um, I could re-roll it and replace it onto the same place, although, I, although that, again, might not work to my favour either. Or I can just remove it from the grid altogether, which is also asking for a bit of trouble because they might be able to, well, they'll probably likely be able to start building. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove the dis disruption dice. I can never remember what to call it. And we're going to roll our dice and see what to build. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We need a six or a four, five, six. Nice. I don't mind that at all. We'll do that. And that's good. Good turn, us. Now they cannot um, move. So they can place a dice, of course, and we get to choose which one it is. Um, I might fear I might just place a, another six, because this is gonna score them like literally like two points, which is brilliant. So we'll do that, and I don't mind it. And now we will either go to plus or minus one or re-roll. And I think let's do a re-roll. If I roll a five, I could change it into a six and put it here. If I roll a th three, four, five, six, I could put it... Mm. You know what? If I can get something onto this space, that would be pretty good. All right, I'm going to do a plus or minus one. Right, that's okay by me. I can either make... I mean, it doesn't matter in terms of points. I don't think... But if I do this, that gets me three points. And then if I can get another one on top of it next turn, that'll get me a total of six points because it's it's three extra points for a height of two. Or if I do this, this will get me three points and then I might be able to get a height of... Or that's obviously not going to... I can't... I can make a four. So I could get, a, theoretically, a height of three tower, which would be... Hold on. Six points. Mm, I think it might be the same. I think it might be the same difference putting it here or here. I suppose here kind of forces them to not have a group of three, which is good because that's like a lot of points. So, yeah, sure. I'm going to put a three here. No, I'm going to put a two here, so it's definite that I can build on something, or more likely to build on something. Right, okay, there we go. And then their turn is going to be something that looks a bit like this. Um, one or a six, well, we'll take the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back to conservation. Oh, that's a bit annoying, because they can immediately build there, which is fine. Um, they're not going to... I don't, I, I, I don't think they're going to be able to beat us. But, you know, there's there's no telling. Um, disruption dice, I don't care about. We'll move on to the re-roll, so we can just re-roll if it's bad. Which it isn't. It's a six. So we can either make... Well, we can make a tower anywhere, pretty much. Uh, I don't think it matters at all, so let's just go with this one. And then they will... It's their final building dice, so they're not going to develop anything. They're just going to play it and place it, and I suppose they'll have to place it here, which is... 
Yeah, okay, fine, whatever. That's it. That's the game. All the buildings have been placed, all the floors have been created, and now we score. So we'll do us first, I suppose. And we'll do... Um, right, we've got... We'll do height first. So we've got two towers of two height, which gives us six points. It's three... I wish I could just put this on screen. Obviously, that's, you know, how a streamer would probably do it. But there you go. So we've got so we got two, so two two times three equals six. Three for each two height tower. Gosh, is miserable to try and explain without showing you. Sorry. And then we've got we've got area wise we've got two groups of one, which is another six points. What? And we've got one group of two, which is two points. So we end the game with 14 points. They have height of two for one, so two times one equals three, and they've got one area of one, which is three, and one area of two, which is two, and their points are six, seven, eight. So we win 14 to eight. What? That, what is this? We win 14 to eight. Lovely, lovely stuff. And now I am tired, just thinking about it. <laughs> two times one equals two. Well, you could be right there, or two times one could also equal six or three. So, you know, that's just, this is how it goes with, with, with scoring. <laughs> I need to keep track of the game. I'm trying to keep track of the games I've won or lost. I think I won this one and won this one. So I think now we've actually, we're up to now more wins than losses, which is good. One more hour. Easy, easy peasy. All right. What do we play next? It's a dice a thon this is just what happens. Oh, Chris. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit, I'm a bit dying, though. I was going to say I could play Dungeons and Numera. Although, I didn't necessarily... No, I did, I did really. I was going to say I didn't lose, I just got all the... I just got all the, uh... I didn't necessarily lose, I just got all of the rules wrong. But I think even if I'd got them right, I still would have got all the rules wrong. So, uh, <laughs> so, 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 you know, who knows? I should play the Drifter, that's true. I haven't got it printed out, though. Um, I should play the Drifter. I could play... All right, let's see what else we've got. We've got City Line. Masoko, do you like City Line? How do you feel about it? Lifeguard was a kind of gimme. I should have known that that was just like a way to get myself 10 extra minutes on stream. Yeah, it was basically like I lost because I didn't read any of the rules. Which, you know, play some City Line. I said play some City Line, why not? Um, I'm going to have to read some of the rules though, so you have to bear with me a little bit. But, I mean, this will be a nice little learn and play together. It'll be fine. We need six six-sided dice. I think we've got that. <clears throat> um, I, I'll take. I'm willing to take colored color suggestions. Oh, I need to put the camera back up. Sorry. Hello. Hello. Ooh, ooh, hello. There we are. Right. Game takes place over three phases. First, the construction phase where you erect your buildings, followed by the time phase, which you determine if it's day or night, and end with the occupancy phase where your buildings are populated. Afterwards, players score. The construction phase takes place over six turns. Each turn you'll roll all of the remaining dice, re-roll as many as you'd like once, and then erect the building walls and add one roof. Roll all six dice to start. Right, so I think I think that orange construction vest was was a pretty good idea actually. So let's go with some high vis. Three, four, five, and six high visible dice. And let's have a look at the actual 
because we've got two we've got two uh, per sheet so that's good right so on the first turn you roll six and second turn you roll five blah 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 you can optionally re-roll any of their just rolled dice one time Using each die that was just rolled, you'll erect building walls by drawing a line that extends the building's left side wall upwards one block for each die matching the numbered columns on the skyline portion of the sheet. Okay, so let's just... I'm not going to start playing just yet, but I just want to see what that would look like. Wow, that is a good roll, maybe. I'm not sure. But we've got 666454. That's a different shade of orange. How's this happened? Have I got two sets of orange dice? How did that how did that come about? Are you the right shade? No, you're the wrong shade. Are you the right shade? So I'm getting distracted. Sorry, my bad. Um, all right. So this would go like I could draw using each die that was just rolled. You'll erect building walls by drawing a line that extends the building's left side wall upwards one block for each die matching the numbered columns on the skyline portion of the sheet. If a die that was rolled matches the column of a building that already has a roof, you can't construct it any longer, obviously. Instead, you will get early occupants. For each die of that number, you'll draw the icon of the occupant type in an empty square of that building. If there's no space to place an occupant, the die is wasted. So... I know, roll's a good roll, it doesn't matter. Can that go on the bingo sheet, please? Set aside one die and build one roof. So, I wrecked a building by drawing a line that extends the building's left side up one block for each die matching the numbered columns. Okay, so for this, I would draw three up on six, two up on five, and one up on four, like that. Okay, I'm, I'm with you. Um, and I don't have anything that has a roof, obviously, so that's fine. And I'm going to I'm going to choose one dice to set aside. The number on the dice will determine the roof type you'll draw immediately onto the building of your choice. Roofs are always built starting from the left wall. Okay, so like for example, if I if I had this turn, and I suppose I should just probably make this turn, but because maybe it's good, but I'm not sure. After you put the roof five more times around. Oh, so you really only do construction one time, and then you do all the time, and then you do the occupancy. Hmm. All right, interesting. All right, well, I mean, yeah, let's just let's just go for it. I suppose. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's not for me to say. So, I guess if I'm starting here, I'm going to go up by one. Yeah. So that's one, two, three. And then this goes up by two, one, two. And then this goes up by just one, one. And then I'm going to set aside one dice. I suppose I don't really know what dice I should be setting aside or thinking about yet, but this is just a test game, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to set aside this six because it looks fine. And I'm going to do... And so that means I draw housing, yeah? So... This die won't be rolled again and will contribute to the time setting for your city. The number on the die will determine the roof type you draw immediately onto the building of your choice. Roofs are always built starting from the left side wall. So, I mean, if I just put, like, a nice house here, why not? Well, I mean, hold on. Determine the day and night. The set-aside dice will determine the skyline. So, majority roof types are odd. It's day. Majority roof types are even. Draw a moon. So it's night. Cloud. Roof types have no majority of odd or even numbers, and you draw a cloud in the sky. Okay. And then, why does it matter if it's day or night? If you draw a sun, and you have majority... But you know what? I'm just going to play the game, and we'll just go with it as we go. This is, it's going to be a learn and play rule book without them designing it as a learn and play rule book, if that makes sense. Oh, hang on. I might be frozen again. Um, so, so I've got, um, right, so I've got, I've got a house. I'm just going to do a house. Let's draw a house right here, and we're just going to do a little house. There we go. Sun is best, so grab obd and cap the highest building. Sun is best, oh, because you get three points, I suppose. 
All right, well, uh, I kept the highest building, so we went that way at least, but I didn't do the rest right. That's fine. Now we've got twos and fours and sixes. And so I'll do... I can't do anything on six because I can't draw it. But I do get an occupant of an empty square in that building starting at the bottom. The occupant type is determined by the roof. Okay, so this is an this is a housing, so I just draw a guy in here. There he is. Easy. I've got two more fours, that's one and two. And two twos, which is one and two. I like this so far. We're going to choose pool of dice to set aside. And we're going to build a shopping, because that's what Vasoko said, on the highest one, because that's what Vasoko said. So we're going to do that. I mean, I'm, I, that, that was my guess. That's why I went here, because I figured it was best to have big buildings. I think that kind of makes sense thematically. But, uh, oh no, hang on. Wait, that's not an odd. Why did I think two was an odd number? Oh, we don't have any odd numbers anyway, so fine. <laughs> why am I so broken? Oh yeah, it's because I've been streaming for three hours. All right, let's carry on. <laughs> Fours and a three, so we've got one three here. I do think my, my camera might run out of battery. Um, three, and then one, two, three. So we'll take this odd, just in case we can get something, and we'll put an education building. Um, oh, I guess I do this, like that. Education building. Lovely stuff. Okay. Here we go. I'm, I'm carrying on going. Oh, okay. F we got a four, five, and a six, which means that we get an early occupancy again, because we've rolled, we've got roofs on all of those, actually. So every single one is going to get an occupant. That's an occupant. Five is government. So that, oh, I need to write, do I need to draw? At the end of the round you can draw on any missing right side walls. Okay, so this actually does need a wall. And this gets a government flag. Lovely. And art gets an arty. Hello. <laughs> he's, he's so psyched. And we're gonna get an odd again because that was what I was advised by my advisor. But roll again. It's another two fives. Do we get so we can't draw. Do we get one per... For each die of that number, you'll draw the icon. Yeah, okay. We're just getting mad, mad government buildings here. Wait, hang on. For each die of that number, you will draw the icon of the occupant type in an empty square in that building. No, so this shouldn't have been government. Sorry, this should have been shopping. Yeah, this is a this is a shopping bag, not a flag. It's just a fancy shopping bag now. It's got a design on it. See? So I need to draw two more of those. <laughs> like, you just hear the cogs of my brain like... And so this shouldn't have been happy man. It should have been education. You're not a you're not a man. You're a light bulb. Bzz. That's what light bulbs look like. God, that's actually terrifying. I've made it into some sort of horrible clown face. It doesn't matter. All right. Well, it's fine. There he is now. He's an he's an education. He's an education. So now we're gonna do a five and we'll do one more. Um, and it's a two. So we're gonna do a two. And we set aside a die and build a roof because it's another shopping. So that's a shop. And then at the end of the round, we're going to draw another right-sided building. So we don't have any roofs on ones or threes, but that's okay, maybe. Right. Is it day or is it night? Well, let's divide into... Oh, it's half and half. It's a cloud. Neither. Damn. That's a, that's a, sh that's a shame. 
Do I have to, what do I do on these then? What, what do I do on these roofs? It doesn't say, does it say? How did I not build any, how did I not build two roofs? Oh, it's because I got occupants. No, it's because I got occupants, isn't it? Or I just forgot. Okay, so hang on. The dice will not be rolled again in the blah, blah, blah. Oh, onto the building of your choice. I'm, I'm making a mistake. I keep missing, I keep thinking that because the numbers are here, I need to draw them on the right column, but obviously I don't. So, so I need, I've done one education, which I do have. I've got, a, and I've got two governments, which I haven't done. So I should draw them here. I should draw the government buildings on here. Because otherwise I've got a two, which is a shop, another two, which is a shop, and a six, which is a house. Yeah, okay, so this should be a government building, and this should be a government building. Right, okay. Um, I've still got a cloud, though, so that's a shame, but that's where it, that's just what it's going to, that's just what it is. And I'm going to miss two points, I guess. <clears throat> so, the occupancy phase takes place over six turns. Each turn you'll roll all remaining dice, populate one building, then set aside a, set aside a dice. Yeah, okay. You may not re-roll any dice. In the, oh yeah, I forgot to re I could re-roll things. That was okay. This game is a this game is a wash. It doesn't really count, but I might still count it to lose ten minutes because I'm I'm tired. But no, it's fine. Um, so we're gonna roll all the dice. Looking at the dice values, you choose a building to populate. Each building has a specific method of population. Oh bloody hell! According to its type, as determined by the roof icon. Remind as determined by the roof icon below and reminder text below that. For each die that fits into the scoring method, for example, evens only, you will only look at the even number of dice you roll, you will draw the icon into a square of that building. You must draw as many as possible that match, starting from the ground up. If there are any remaining spaces in the building, they must be filled with X's. When populating a building, you, may need, you will need to use all matching dice. If no buildings match your roll, you must fill one building with X's. Right. Looking at the dice values, we've got two fives, two sixes, and two twos, and we're not allowed to re-roll anything. Each building has a specific method of population according to its type. Okay, so this needs to be a sequence, is a bank. We don't have any banks, though. This needs to be the same number, which is shopping. This needs to be a different number, which is education. This needs to be ones and twos, evens and odds. So I could, theoretically, fill in two shopping here because they're the same number. Is that correct? They draw as many as possible that match, starting from the ground up. If there are any remaining spaces, draw the icon into a square of that building. So, yeah, so I can, essentially, I can put two sixes there and make two shoppings, right? And fill this with shoppings. Is that correct? Let me double check. It doesn't because it doesn't matter what the dice face is. It's just the method. In it's just the roof, I should say. So the shopping roof. Tell it doesn't need to be twos. It just needs to be the same numbers. So this is a shopping bag. This is a shopping bag and I set these aside. No, I set aside one dice that was used to occupy, and this will be used for end of game scoring. Oh, bloody hell. Now I need to read ahead again. Check, <laughs> check. Oh, I don't, I actually, I get zero points. If you draw you, oh, okay. So we need to get an even number of odds and evens again. Okay, that's fine. All right, cool. I think I get it. Reroll all of these. No rerolls, and we've got. Wow, we've got a two, three, four, five, and six, which should be pretty good, I think. Because oh no, that's a bank, which is not good. 
Um, ones and twos can fill the arts building, but we don't have any arts building, so we don't care about that. Government is evens only, so we could do something like a four in here or a six in there. Um, shopping is the same number, which we don't have of anything. And education, we got different numbers, so we could actually do like two, three, five, six, and that would be education filled up with light bulbs. Okay, nice. That's good. And then I'm going to set aside a dice that is not even so I can hopefully maximize my end of game scoring. Right, I need government evens or shopping same number. So government evens is what I'm going to take and I will take that here. That's government. Okay, I get it. I think I get it. Ooh, same number. Although it'll fill the rest with X's. But to be fair, it's that's the only the that's the best I'm gonna get, isn't it? Because if I get two or I get lucky next turn and roll double again, but it's I'm never gonna get more than that. So Oh wait, hang on, what's this? Odds only. Oh, I should put it in here then. Yeah. So actually having a massive building might not be that good. You might want them all kind of like even. But housing odds only, I can just put four people in here and then I'll take another odd dice over here so we're matching and we'll roll again. And then what's this? Shopping is the same number so I'm going to have either one or I'm going to put an odd number, oh no, even number in government. So I'll put an even number in government which is six and then I will set aside Oh, it has to be one that was used to occupy building space. Okay, so like this one now would have to be this. So now I'm going to have to roll an odd this way, which if I don't roll an odd, I'm going to lose two points. Lovely. And this is a different number, so I can... Oh, no, it's the same number as itself, so I can fill in one shopping bag and then fill the rest in with X's. And this comes in here, and now I've got three evens and three odds, which is good... Final score. Score each building from left to right by chasing a check mark in the space that represents the number of floors filled with icons. What? Score each building from left to right by placing a check mark in the space that represents the number of floors filled with icons. The number above the space is the amount of points that building will score. Oh, I see. So if you got... Score each building from left to right by placing a check mark in the space that represents the number of floors filled with icons. So is this is just one. So is this just there? One, like that? So now I've got one point and I just write one point in here. Hello? And then this one would also be one. Oh, bloody hell. Sorry. Oh, oh I see. And so I, I keep filling these up. Yeah, okay, gotcha. So that's one goes there, I score one point. This is a shopping, so I get I technically get zero points for it, but then I'll score more later. So then this is another government, so I place another check mark in here and I still only get one. Um, so this scores zero. Yeah, I think. This scores one. And then this education scores one, two, three, four, five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. That's six points. Shopping, uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's 12 points. That's good. And then this one scores one, two, three, four. That's three points. Yeah. 
yeah, okay, now I think I, yeah, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Right, so then I, uh, if two buildings are the same type, they must have different occupancies to score. Oh, bugger. You can only score once at each level of occupancy for each building type. A second building of the same type at the same level of occupancy will score zero points. Okay, so this one is, uh, is zero. Yeah, I think I probably will play again to see if I can do better. Um, <laughs> subtract one point for every two X's. So that's just one, because we've got three. Check your set-aside dice. That's what I'm doing. If you draw a cloud, you set aside your dice in the occupancy. Have a majority. We don't, so there's nothing there good. Share your layout. Compare your high scores. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. So six, nine, ten, twenty-two. What's this rule mean? What's that? What do you do? Rule. Don't know, but it doesn't matter. Right, I think I know what I'm looking for. So we got 22 points in that first game. One of a kind types, one point each. Duplicate types, three points each pair. Uh, wait, do I do, do I get points here? Hang on. Yeah, one of a kind building scores one point. So I've got one, two, three, f I've got, th no, I've got two of those. And duplicates score a point per pair, so that's two duplicates. Although, do these score? Yeah, I think they do. Doesn't say anything about it. So education, education gets one point, r housing gets one point, and then these get, three points because I've got two shopping buildings and two government buildings yeah so that's six points so that's eight that's 30 okay okay so now I do think I know what I'm looking for let's let's try and let's try and actually get a score that is maybe reputable um, oh yeah what's the winning score I mean that's the great that's the question isn't it I'm gonna go ahead and take that one as an L but you know I could be wrong what's the time 10.30? All right. Pretty good. All right. Well, that's not a win for Vazelko. Pretty good's never been good enough. <laughs> let's, uh, I'll just do that. Right. Let's see. Like, on my, on my stream monitor, it says started streaming less than one minute ago. <laughs> Incorrect, YouTube. 40 this turn, okay, 40's the win. Right, so we've got three fours, one six, one two, and one three. So this, and then we choose one number to cap off, ah, based on, sorry, my picture just fell over. Oh, hello, don't fall. One, two, three, one, one, and one. And then we choose one building to cap off Hopefully don't fill it with X's, but I think we'll choose the four, yeah? And we want odds, so we always want to set aside odds because odds are better, it scores us three points at the end. Oh, I can re-roll, that's true. Well, it's too late now, I've already drawn it, but I can re-roll. So, um, <laughs> so we'll, re we'll, we'll use education. Draw the building icon underneath the building. And if you would like a scoring reminder, oh, that's what it is, okay. So after, oh, you draw the icon in here and you draw the, gotcha. So you draw the icon in here and you draw the rule in here. So that makes, that, that I suppose that's easier, yeah. Okay, so education is going on this one. So it kind of goes like this. So then this is education and it's got to be, I mean, I'm not going to write different, but I'll just write diff. Yeah, right. The The basement ghosts are like, dude, this is our party time. What are you doing? Um, right, we've got two fours, a one and a two and a six. And, and I suppose I won't... Well, we want to re-roll the fours, don't we? Because 
Well, no, we don't. We actually, we like fours, because we want... Oh, he's back! <laughs> All right, we're gonna leave with this. That was a sign, I think, that we're gonna leave it with this game. So I'll finish this round, and then we're, and then we're off. <laughs> I don't know how my microphone is. Um, I have to take my microphone out to charge it, so I don't know. Hopefully it's okay. Um, all right, we'll do this, do this game, and and I'll, I'll I'll just finish it up. So we've got <laughs> we're gonna write we're gonna write two fours in here, and then I'm gonna re-roll the the rest of these and see if we can get some taller buildings. Mm, no, but I will keep this, and I will keep this six, and I suppose I'll either keep all these. So that's a six, and that is a two, and then we'll cap off. We need odds, so we don't have any odds, but I'll cap off maybe this with housing. Oh yeah, I need to draw this. Two threes, one one, one six. I'll take my six. Oh, I need to draw the people in there too. Oh gosh, this is gonna be a mess of a game. So this is a half. We had three of them, didn't we? And then we'll do one, three, three. And we'll take six, we'll go into a person. Yeah. And we'll take an odd dice as an educational. It's another educational building. Very smart citizens. Right. One, two, and a four will get us. One and two. And a four will get us another light bulb, so I don't really mind that. And then I'll take another odd. That will guarantee us one, two, three. No, it won't guarantee us anything. But at least I can put a bank on here. And then we've got a double four, which is not going to do us anything, so I have to re-roll those. And a one and a six won't do us anything either, but, um, well, we get to place some people in there. So put a people in there, put a bank in here, and then we'll take another odd, one, two, three, four. Well, we're supposed to have six dice. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Yeah, okay. And then... And then we re-roll this one. No, I must have forgotten to build a... Oh, yeah, I need to place a bank somewhere. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Um, so place a bank on this one. And then whatever this is, a two... We'll get us a shopping bag in No, I can I think I've done it wrong again. I played it wrong. I keep I think I've messed up the rules again though. For each die that number you draw the icon in that building. Oh no no no, okay, it's okay. I can draw I draw a bank in here. Because it's two. I think that's right. Oh, no. But now I've got, and this is to be, so this should be a shopping, which is there. Or do I go here? Because it's the right wall. Oh my gosh. Right, occupancy phase. Whew, 
let's see, four, five, two, there's no re-rolls in this one, so that's a bank and a bank and a person and a shopping bag. So we've got dice of the same number going shopping. Housing is odds only. I can use an odds only, can't I, and just do that. I'll just do that. I don't know if it's a good roll. Oh yeah, I do need to draw the sun, yeah, that's right. Um, so this is an odd, and we've got one, two, two, three, six. Don't know why it died that time, that doesn't even make sense. I think I'm back though. One, two, four, and six. We need banks, a sequence. We don't have any sequences. Well, we've got, oh yeah, we've got enough actually. Yeah, one and a two, that'll be a sequence. Bank, bank, lovely. And we'll take a one. I know it's really, it's really struggling at the minute. Shopping is the same number, so we'll do that. Bags, bags. <laughs> yeah, this could use some picture examples for sure. Um, and then this is an X, and I think this is an X too. And then this one is a sequence of one, and we'll do an X there and an X there. So I've got, I'm minusing two points for this. I am getting, I'm getting, I've, um, have I got all odds? No, I've got, I've got an equal amount. I don't lose any points, I just don't gain any points. Right, and then from the leftmost, I, I fill in banks like this. So one, two, three, four, five. So it's got eight points for banks. I know, it's getting very ornery. Shop it, oh no, banks, 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 that's okay. Yeah, I think that's right, hang on. Hold on, different occupancies is fine, yes. Um. Yeah, okay, so then Oh, these don't score. Or I don't score this one. So it's just one, two, three, four, but I don't score the rest. That's rubbish. And then arts, nothing. Uh, shopping, one, two, that's one point. And then people is one, two, three. Hello. I'm just wrapping up my stream. Eight, nine, ten, oh, wait, you're fourteen. Like, I'm you're live. on the computer. I'm I'm live and it's ten o'clock, but they 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 gambled me to continue. Can I hug you? Oh yeah. Hi. So that's fourteen points. No, twelve points. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! I'm not Miss Matt. That's Mrs. <laughs> Misses. But uh, also, Kate, I'm yeah. my own person. <laughs> <laughs> no! Matt's wife. Damn. How reductionistic. You can't you can't swear on my stream, though. Oh, sorry. It's okay, there's only, there's only five people here. I've worn, I've worn everyone out. <laughs> yeah, I literally just finished up my last session. Nice. So, running late, too. All right, baby. Come on, Maybelline. Well, I think we will leave it there. I mean, I know that I'm, I know that I am, well, I, I, I mean, I don't know if it's, this was definitely a loss, so that takes us down to 10.25, but that's about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna call it. And uh, and it's been lovely, it's been a lot of fun. And we will do another dice -a It was good. I had a nice time. I am really tired though. I didn't think I would be, but I am, I am quite tired. And I'm gonna need some more coffee for next uh, next round. I'm gonna get some. I'll get some electrolytes, electrolytes, water on tap. I'll have caffeine tabs. It's gonna be brilliant. Oh gosh, the phone's gonna. Friday? Yeah. No, probably. Give me a few weeks, and I'll be back. Oh, friends, it's been absolutely lovely. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, this this is an this is an uh, this is a massive undertaking on on everyone's part, to be quite honest. Um, I I'm really appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around. I appreciate your super chats. Thanks for the. Oh hi, Mabel. Thanks for the. Uh...
um, the encouragement. Here, look, here's a, I'll reward you, oops, I'll reward you with some dice and maybe this is animal cruelty, I don't know. Here's a dog on some dice. There you go. Oh, hang on. There you go. Just a fluffy head. I can't turn her upside down. That would that wouldn't make any that would that would be bad. I think I'd probably get banned from YouTube. Do you want to roll some of these? No, he just wants to get down. All right, well, that is gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. It's been an absolute marathon, but I've I've had a lovely time. I've loved every minute of it. We won some waterfront. We actually won some paper pinball. We lost some paper pinball pretty bad. And uh and we, we won some of my own games, so that's all right, too. This was lovely, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a lovely night. Sleep well. I know that I will. And I will see you later. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs> 108 AM. Thank you, Lord Richard. You're a champion.